Yo, hello, how you doing? Happy Saturday uh, to those who celebrate. <laughs> Happy Saturday. Uh, Amobius, thank you for the, no, sorry, you didn't sub. Oh, you, maybe you did, but you didn't sub now. Um, Volatin, you got pulled over for a brake light and he noticed my Enron hat and then he wrote me a $300 ticket. <laughs> he would have written you more. He would have written you more, but he's a fan of the stream. Uh, Big A, have you seen I Survived Parkour Civilization, the full movie yet? I've No, I've never seen it or heard of it. Big A, uh, Justin Feld, they have the 27 months. J squared, I saw a beetle outside today. That's got to be a good omen for Silk Song. It is a good omen for you getting out of your house. Oh, damn. Crumb Kyle, thank you for the gifted. Jesus. Sheesh. Um, hey, Truck, you should watch the Super Bowl live and rank the ads in real time. I love your thought process. I love, hey, I love when you guys contribute to the ideas around here. You know, I feel like you're part of the content. Let me, a good brainstormer always will, you know, bounce off of you, give you a riff. So I'm going to tell you, great idea. I love where your head's at. Have you considered that if I stream the Super Bowl live, I will get my channel deleted? Is that, understand that I'm with you. It's a great, I, we got energy, right? So where, where do you, <laughs> um, just watch one of the streamers that are playing Madden, <laughs> playing Madden. They get deleted too. By the rights? I mean, broke ass? I understand that you you want me to invest in the content, is what you're saying. You want me to take some of the money I have and reinvest in the content. However, and I don't think this makes me a broke ass, I think the hundreds of billions, actually the billions of dollars it would cost to get the NFL rights for my stream. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know that I have that. I don't know that, think of the numbers. I will say I would break some records. I would break some viewers. If I was the, if I went to the NFL and bought exclusive Super Bowl rights <laughs> for my stream, that would be hype, bro. I would get some viewership. Don't get me wrong. Uh, things would, things would be big. I just don't know that I, do you guys think I could put the rights to the Super Bowl on Afterpay? Because then I could make all the money back on subs. I just don't, I'm not liquid. I don't have upfront billions of dollars. Um, I can't believe you didn't stream for two days. Please never scare us like that again. This is fucked what you guys do. This is fucked because I, <laughs> because it's like if I give if I give more, I'm expected more. Do you know what I'm saying? It's almost like you guys are a boss at a bad job. You guys are like bad managers. Where if like I innovate something to do my work faster or better, it's like, okay, well now do more. It's it's your bad managers. That's what you are, your bad managers. I fucking did 31 days in a row, which I hadn't done in years, and the first response is, whoa, took two days off there, buddy. <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck was that? Baby wants a raise? No! Baby doesn't even want a raise! Baby just wants to take a couple days off to work more on the content for the days when he's back on. That's what Baby wants, okay? <clears throat> uh, You're like a drug dealer, you can't, no, I'm not like a drug dealer. I'm gonna cut you off right there. Before I finish your sentence, I'm not like a drug dealer. <laughs> Me creating generally free content for you is not a drug dealer. It's not, <laughs> that's not a drug dealer type, type beat. It's not a good analogy. If anything, I'm kind of like a Marine or something, something heroic, um, like a coal miner. But if the coal was used to save the earth, um, Get to, oh, where's your glizzy mascot? It's actually right there. There's my glizzy that Ari made. Uh, you can see it right there. And she made me another one, even though I did not ask for it. She made me one made of gold. 
<laughs> so now we're gonna have two. I don't know where the second one is, but she made me a golden glizzy and a fucking, I don't know, it's insane. That 3D printer of hers never stops going. Never stops. I, I Literally, anytime I walk into her workshop area, that 3D printer is making something. Um, HROC is basically Fidel Castro. Think on that for a second. I'm going to think on it, right? But if I don't come up with a reasonable conclusion to that, perhaps you can explain yourself. Because Fidel Castro and I don't seem to have a lot in common. <laughs> I guess you could call me Fidel Cash Flow, and there would be some sort of crossover there. I am sort of a, <laughs> I am also a Latin king. Actually, in, in many ways, I am kind of like, I am kind of like Fidel in that. Um, I've never seen you and Castro in the same room together. That logic is fundamentally sound. However, I'm gonna counter it by saying one thing. There are many people who you haven't seen in a room together that are not the same person. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say, that's my counter, is that you have people that you have seen in different rooms, never together, that are not the same person. Name two people, Genghis Khan and Obama. <laughs> You've seen them, but you haven't seen them in the same room. Therefore, they are not the same person. Or Yeah, they. therefore, by your logic, they're the same person. Uh, uh, I have <laughs> Mozart and Jesus. I actually saw both of them in the same room at one point. I do have to say that. Jesus was, Jesus was at a Mozart concert and he fell asleep. <laughs> I hate to put him on blast, but it's been a long time. Jesus was in the back of the room and he was like pretending he was really into it, but then he felt he zonked out after like 30 seconds. Um, so they can't be the same person. Um, I watch your YouTube videos most of the time. One of the best streamers out there. I love you, bro. Much love from Germany. How about more messages like that? Dinzik, I'm VIPing you. <laughs> Can only you talk? You only have three messages and they're all that. You sound like a, you know what you sound like? <laughs> it sounds like a, it sounds like a YouTube bot. <laughs> like they've got like a, a profile picture of like an ass and it's like, I love the effort you put into your videos. <laughs> I love I love how you're always creating awesome content for us. Um, can we just take a minute to appreciate how much effort Big A puts into streaming? Yes. Why don't real people talk like the bots? The problem is they're bots. If real people talk like that, we'd all have a nicer world. Um. <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, the only thing I have to say, but to you, is that Germany. Yikes. <laughs> Sorry, but yikes. Yikes. Thanks for the, thanks for the, uh, the, thanks for the uh, compliment, but not a great time for Germany right now. Um, uh, doctor, battle, why yikes? Just bad economy, bad economy right now. You know what happens? Everyone knows if you study history, whenever Germany gets a bad economy, and a very far right-leaning party starts getting political power, everything goes right. Everything goes okay. <laughs> Everyone knows that. Everyone knows that like history has proven that that is never, that's never bad. It always leads to calm and peace. Uh, do do You're going to go to MC Chicago in a few weeks? I have no idea what that means. Do you? No idea what that means. Is that Minecraft Chicago? Is that like a huge Minecraft con in Chicago where I would go and give a keynote speech about how Redstone is going to unlock more potential than the internet ever did? That's my keynote. <laughs> That'd be kind of base, right? <laughs> If I just get... <laughs> um... Bro is gonna low bro Mojang. I dude, give me the keynote speak 
uh, speech at a Mojang conference, and I will go. I will go hard. I will say what needs to be said about how. <laughs> well, I guess I'll turn to all the developers in the room and say, I think it's time you crunched. <laughs> I'm going to put up one slide of everything Minecraft released in 10 years and one slide of everything Epic Games released in 10 years for Fortnite. And I'm going to say, you know what? I don't necessarily believe in crunch, but <laughs> maybe let's cut down the break times here at uh, Mojang. Minecraft Redstone is responsible for more soccer engineers than any other recruitment strategy. What the fuck is a soccer engineer? I don't, oh, software, he just misspoke. Autocorrect, he doesn't know, Pepe laughed. <laughs> you guys instantly made up a fake universe where I don't know what a soccer, rather than admit that the guy typoed it, you guys instantly Pepe laughed like I don't know what a soccer engineer is and you all do. You're all in on it, y'all know. <laughs> uh, it's called football engineer in Europe. Why would, <laughs> shut up, shut up. Okay, shut up. Stop being stupid. <laughs> All right, just fucking talk normal. Um, I've been a football engineer since I was nine. Hey, thoughts on Wheatus? Uh, is this like a, a Wheatus these nuts or something? What is Wheatus? God damn it, what is Wheatus? Wheatus these, Wheatus, Wheatus. It's a band. Okay. What what is a weedest song that I would know? Uh Teenage Dirtbag. Would I know this? Oh yeah. Yeah. Well that's probably all I know from them. Do they have anything else? Uh One hit wonder? Okay. Well then, why did you ask me my thoughts on Wheatus? <laughs> Just do the math, dude. Statistically, you ask me my thoughts on Wheatus, I'm gonna say, I know Teenage Dirtbag. I, I, it's good, I guess. That's why, why I don't have a deep, I'm not gonna Anthony Fantano Wheatus' secret new album. Do you plan on getting the Apple Vision Pro? I plan on not doing that. Yeah. Um, until my cyber truck arrives and then of course I'm gonna do it. I don't I plan on not doing it until I can do it while driving. Do you know what I'm saying? For me, it's it's not something you do at home. It's something you do on the road. Okay? Under the with a big fucking monster truck underneath your, your hands. You know, gripping it, letting it rip. Yo, thoughts on the 2.2 million Tesla recall? I gotta be honest with you. Even though I'm a certified Elon Musk. Uh, laugher adder. <laughs> we are we are many. We are strong. Even though I'm certified, uh, the the Tesla recall stuff is always overhyped. It's not really a recall. It's a software update. They say recall, but you don't have to take your car back in. Nobody's. They just they just say you have to update something. And they do. It's not a. It's not a. The recall stuff is is often uh, overhyped. Turn into headlines that aren't there. Um. Hey, Atrioc, they change. Wait, are you going to blame Tim Cook when you plow through a family of six while driving a Cybertruck using an Apple Vision Pro? I'm not going to blame Tim Cook. My lawyers are. Because <laughs> I'm going to be too busy. I'm going to have the Apple Vision Pro on in the courtroom, and I'm going to be too busy fucking watching the game, checking Twitter, uh, chatting on Twitter. I'm not going to have time to be chatting it up with the judge. Okay, he's not in my metaverse. So my lawyers will figure it out. Uh, Choo Choo, thank you for the raid, Mr. I'm gonna guess train man. I'm, I don't I have no idea what your situation is. Um, did you cry when they said Sainz is leaving Ferrari and getting replaced by Hamilton? I dropped to my knees in Walmart and I cried. I cried and I cried and I cried because for me, I love F1. That's the first thing you know about me. 
And the second thing you know about me is in F1, I love Ferrari, okay? And so for me, change nothing, <laughs> okay? Change nothing about the team because it's a powerful, good team and we're headed to success. That being said, victory's assured, okay? This year is, is uh, this is our year for Ferraris. Um, why don't they just make the car faster? Are they stupid? Other teams are. Uh, Kronos 264, what'd you, what'd you, what'd you, what'd you ask since you're so worried about getting Dono walled? You spammed Atrioc thoughts on sap. Kronos, you, you've been sub for five months. I've talked about the game once or twice. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> what do you think? What do you think my thoughts are? I've never played it. So that's probably a thought. Uh no, I don't I don't like it, bro. I don't think it I don't think Super Auto Pets is a good game. But I am a certified non-hater. Alright? <laughs> Just me and my gun. Okay? And I'm a non-hater. So if you like it, that's cool for me. I just don't want to play it. <clears throat> uh, thoughts on 21 Savage scamming Aiden Ross? <laughs> I did see that. That shit's wild. That's wild. I can't believe Aiden Ross is the unequivocal good guy of a story. That's crazy. I feel like... You know what though? For Aiden Ross, you can't pay for that kind of. It's the it's the biggest win. Uh, Aiden Ross can spend. <laughs> you can't to get twenty one Savage to scam you on stream. <laughs> that's the best PR you can get, bro. He he just he got it for cheap. There's celebrities that would pay ten times what he paid. Uh, I have never had a positive actual thought about Aiden Ross until I saw this and I was like, well, I've got to feel bad for him. <laughs> uh, crazy that 21 is a dog shit rapper, a gambling addict, a piece of human. Brother, I don't think you should scam people. I don't think he's a dog shit rapper. Bro, I think you're a bit of a hater. <laughs> I think 21 got some verses. Uh... I think he's got bars, bro. Uh, hey, Big A, any advice on how to not eat this entire roll of Thin Mints? I read an article today that Girl Scouts are raising their prices in response to inflation. So note that if you eat that roll of Thin Mints too quickly, you'll have to pay through the nose to get your next roll. So to give you an economic perspective, you should be savoring every Thin Mint you have currently at the current price. And I also found out economically, uh, the Girl Scout organization only makes a small fraction of what those those cookies net. I mean, if you sell a six dollar cookie box, they get maybe a buck, maybe seventy five cents off that, and so much of it goes to the other middlemen, um, and they have to fund all their programs off that seventy five cents. Um. Just eh, to go to the big cookie. <laughs> no, because even the manufacturer of the cookie only made like $3. Again, I, I saw the thing earlier today. I don't remember exactly, but it was the cookie manufacturer didn't take all the rest. It was like $3. And then there's this big chunk in the middle that went to other orgs. Um, that's just how the cookie crumbles. I can't VIP me right now. I'm so funny. <laughs> I do get it. I do get it. Yeah. 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 How does he do it? How does he do it? That's going to be the title of my YouTube video about this. How the cookie crumbles. And it's going to be a picture of a Girl Scout holding up like a $100,000 cookie. <laughs> and then it's going to be my face like this. And then a the thought bubble that says inflation. Okay. And it's going to get 6 million views. Um, holding a stack of cash to her ear. <laughs> hey, Shrock, next time you ball out with slime, can you please ask him to unban me on Twitter? 
I can promise you till the fucking bowels of Satan freeze over, I will not be doing that next time I hang out with slime. <laughs> I can promise you, dude, that the first thing I'm doing when we're hanging out is not bringing up somebody on Twitter he should unban who asked in my chat. What a stupid fucking question. I should ban you here for that. <clears throat> the only problem is I have no idea what you did to get banned because he does ban people randomly. Um, Intro, what are your thoughts on chatters who can't really think of something to say so they put some random bullshit in the chat in hopes they'll heal their message read out loud by their favorite streamer? <laughs> you got me. You got me, you got me. I thought the longer message, it was most more likely to be real. Uh, that was already halfway through before I recognized my folly, my error, my foolishness. Such as life. Say la vie. Wabelp, thank you for the 17 months. Sean, dude, thank you for the 30 months. Flawless, thank you for the gifty. Tarn, thank you for the 15 months. Ramsey, thank you for the bits. Uh, Winter Vest Samuel, thank you for the four months. Game dude with the prime. Jake Finn with the prime. Sip F Fantasy with the nine months. David Blockbuster with the five months. Dr. Nick with the five. A lot of five monsters. R Dubs with the 46 months. Thank you for the 46 months, R Dubs. Much fucking appreciated. What do you think about the recent unemployment report? Do you think it's actually as good as they say? Uh, I will talk about it when I do the predictions, which is so soon that you're just going to blow your mind. <laughs> um, wait, let me check uh, what Shake Drizzle is saying. Yo, uh, IDK. Yo, yo. Oh, okay. Uh, here's the deal. Big plan for today. A lot of things happening today. The reason I changed my title to the Joker earlier is because I have overlapped my commitments today. I've overlapped them and thus something has come to a new number one priority. And the number one priority is that I am going to be playing a brand new game called Stormgate with my biggest op, Shake Drizzle. Uh, because he's been talking mad, mad shit on me, and I want to prove that I am the better natural gamer at RTSs than he is, because we both came up in the StarCraft II trenches of Team Liquid. Now, I'm gonna VIP Frost Giant Studios, who is the creator of the game. And they happen to be in this chat, I think. Uh, I'm gonna VIP Shake Drizzle, even though he does not deserve it. <laughs> and, um, oh, I forgot I had a follow timer. Do they still have a follow timer? We should get rid of that. Is any mod here? We should get rid of the follow timer. We don't need that. Um, he's telling me he's stuck on the follow timer. You're gonna need a, oh, sorry. Hey, Big A, I recently turned 18 and I wanna get more financially literate. What are some resources that you, for beginners, you should get really into crypto discords. The best way to learn about good financial literacy is to get into crypto discords, to get into NFT, hodler discords. Um, start just tossing some money around. The best way to learn is to get that, all the money you have out there into the market, okay? Um, Wall Street bets, a lot of knowledge there, <laughs> a lot of doge. Well, one of the best ways actually is you go to YouTube channels and look for the comments where it's like, I didn't know how to invest until uh, Mr. Moneybags taught me his proven financial system. And then there's the eight comments that are like, oh my God, does that really work? Yeah, Mr. Moneybags is the greatest guy I've ever seen. His channel is so amazing. No, really? Well, then how do I <laughs> just do those? Like go to the bottom of that, click the link and you're gonna find pure knowledge. Reading those are just the best way to do it. Um, it's rock. Would you please re reconsider my request and ask slime to unblock me on Twitter? I'm banning you. <laughs> so, next time you see slime, ask him if he can get me to unban you. And if he does that, I'll get you him to unban you. Okay. If you can get Slime to get you unbanned in my chat, then I will get him to get you unbanned on Twitter. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, bro. Um, 
Did you see that Fager got 3,000 kills yesterday? I fucking did! Can we get a what, pause for one moment and give a little bit of a clap to Faker? The absolute GOAT. 3,000 kills. 3,000? This is in one game, by the way. If you're not familiar with League of Legends, he got a 3,000 kill game. <laughs> no, he's had 3,000 kills over his career in the LCK. Uh, so far ahead of everybody else. He got his 600th win. So far ahead of everybody else. He's the all-timer. He's just the GOAT, dude. He's putting up uh, Wilt Chamberlain numbers. Uh, and the team looks great, too. They look so good. They look like they're going to do exactly what they always do, which is get second to Gen G in Korea and then win Worlds. <laughs> um, all right, let's see what Shake Drizzle's saying. Pause, champ. I figured it out. Okay, I'm installing. What's your Steam? We're not friends on Steam, Shake? Jesus Christ. This guy's such an op, dude. He's such a fake. Um, uh, 21, can you do something for me? Can you scam Aiden Ross there for me? <laughs> 21, can you mark the cards for me? All right, I, uh, I, I have added you, Shake Drizzle. Okay, um... I had to make a new Steam account, not pointing fingers, but it's your fault. It sounds like you're pointing fingers. And that's a whack attitude, whack attribute. Um, just saw someone finance a Starbucks drink over four months. No, you didn't. <laughs> that's, that's, that would be too unreasonable. Nobody financed a Starbucks drink. I don't, I don't believe it. Um... All right, I got a message from Shake. So here is what we're gonna do. There's a brand new game called Stormgate. By the way, this is not a paid, this is not paid. <laughs> they they asked if I wanted to play, I said yes, they gave me a key, that's it. Not paid. If you do wanna check it out, uh, in two days, Steam Next Fest begins, and I think you can play it for free. And if you wish list it, maybe that's how you get access, I think. So, hashtag ad, <laughs> hashtag check them out. Uh, at least it's a free ad, if it is. Um, check it out, Stormgate. Uh, where is Shake Drizzle, is the thing. Shake Drizzle. Can you do something for me? Can you stop being whack? Uh, do I need to do anything else? So anyway, the point I want to say is this game is brand new. Brand new. Actually, not, not even out yet. <laughs> Unreleased. I don't think the public can even play it for two days for the beta. So we're playing it pre-beta. Uh, and we haven't touched it before. And we're going in blind. And both Shake and I came up in the StarCraft 1 and StarCraft 2 scenes. Okay, we used to like make posts on Team Liquid. Um, and... Uh, yeah, we're old as shit, I guess, <laughs> based on that. And, uh, that's where I got into esports was those, was those early days on Team Liquid and esports and, uh, StarCraft. And, um, this is a team that I believe left Blizzard for good reason <laughs> to start their own development studio to make a StarCraft 2 light game, an RTS game. Uh, and they created Stormgate in their own image. And it's supposed to have cool co-op features and stuff to make it a little bit easier for people that don't want to spam uh, APM like a Korean teen <laughs> to play. Uh, that's the idea. Oh, wait. What, uh, what is Frost Giant Studios saying? User, Frost Giant Studios. Please, please, please don't jump into ranked for your first game. Play versus AI first. Learn how it works. <laughs> Think not, Frost Giant Studios. Don't try to tell me how to play your game. Now I'm playing. I'm playing ranked right off the rip, and I'm gonna win too. That's the thing. That's what you don't know about me. All right, let me call. Let me, actually, let me play one versus Shake. What if we just play versus Shake right off the rip? <laughs> let me just play. Let's play an immediate game versus Shake and just put put it on the line. Let's put it on the line, dude. I'm calling him. What up? What's up? Uh, $200, 1v1, blind, go in. Yes, yes, sir. Let's fucking go! 
Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Wait, did you forget that I won your Age of Empires tournament? Oh my god, you never should have bet this. Chat, I want you to know. Does chat know? When I had 20 viewers, I did a free for all eight player Age of Empires game. It was 50 viewers. It, it was for fun. It was free for all. That means it was all about diplomacy. And it was Shake... for $50. <laughs> I won Shake fifty dollars. Didn't speak to anybody. Went full try hard and grinded out the win while I was trying to make it for content. And he yeah, still talks about it. He still talks about it four years later. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm the better RTS gamer, so let's well, do it. Yes, I'm the better tactician though, right? Because there is a game called chess. Oh, we... don't, you, you never <laughs> shut up about this. Because it happened pretty recently. Pretty recently, I beat you in chess, and it's weird because you're so oh higher, much God, higher rated dude, than me. I was tired. You're we so climbing. much higher. Dude, it was really funny because we went climbing. We were hanging out. We were uh, all eating lunch. You meet in Lud. And uh, I brought it up. I was like, hey, you want to play a game of chess? And he instantly starts deflecting. <laughs> he's like, we're at ah. dinner. No, we're he's at like, lunch. oh, we're at lunch. You know, I don't, oh, I don't feel like it. Oh, I'm just, I'm you're always play. on your fucking phone. Dude. I want to enjoy lunch with my friends. You're like, let's pull out our phones and play. And then food comes, and we're like assholes uh -huh. on our phone. Uh -huh. And then you copied my order too. That was so whack of you, dude. <laughs> okay, let's not even. That was let's so boot whack. Boot it up. How do we, how do right, we play? Right, I'm, I'm in the game. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome oh, wow. to the wonderful world of Stormgate. Check out that beautiful view, that vantage of the stars. We are going to go head to head in a game that neither of us have ever played. We just got the keys, we just installed. Uh, and we're going to go to custom, I assume, create a game. Uh, I'll let you pick the map. You want Boneyard, <laughs> Jagged Maw, or Titan's Causeway? Which one speaks to you? I'm a Boneyard main. I've always said that about you. You are Mr. Boneyard. Okay. Um, human. How do I get you to join this? Am I, am I leaking the... <laughs> Frost Giant Studios, please let me know if I'm not showing stuff I shouldn't show. It, I am I'm I am playing this game early. And they had all these instructions that I didn't have full time to read, but I got the gist of. I gave I gave it the old the old one too. Alright, I gave it the Atriok. Boneyard is the one map I'd asked you not to play. It's experimental, brand new. <laughs> That's how we live, Frost Giant Studios. Me and Shake will be Boneyard players. Yeah, we okay? can counter pick. We can play on your map. It's fine. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna run from your Boneyard, bro. I play the new shit. Okay. I'm always. I'm changing the paradigm. I'm changing the meta. <laughs> Just invite uh, me, man. Just invite me, man. Okay. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how. I created a game. Can I? Maybe I give you the lobby ID and you. Yeah. Okay. I guess I don't have to worry about leaking this because no one else has a key. <laughs> what are you guys gonna do with it? Huh? Here it is right there. All right, we got, we got, oh, here it is. All right, Vanguard or Infernals? Uh, Frost Giant Studios in my chat, which one is easier? Be honest. <laughs> which one is, am I gonna uh, pick Wait, Which up one's quicker? harder for me? Which one's harder for the expert? <laughs> are you a Vampire's player? Uh, Infernals are easier? I go Vanguard right. then. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Uh, all right. what are, you, are you really? All right. Let's That's go, fine. baby. Let's go. Are you ready? Hit ready. Uh, I'll hit ready. Yes, sir. All right. Start 200 bucks. 200 bucks. 200 bucks. 200 bucks. <laughs> what do we do? How do we play? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm mining. I'm mining. I'm mining. I'm mining. You build workers so fast. Oh my god, my APM. Oh, I have a dog. Okay. I assume he's right here. Uh I don't have enough Luminite. <laughs> Poor. I'm broke as If well. you're a broke boy, just say so, bro. That's all I'm saying. I got this guy. What, uh... Don't forget to hotkey your buildings don't and your units. Don't tell me how to play. That's the first thing you should never do. How do I not have enough Luminite yet? All right, chat. First thing I'm going to do is... Oh, he's the Zerg! Wait, I want to be the Zerg! Oh, I'm fucking Terran! <laughs> Wait, you're scouting? I don't have a scout. Yeah, you don't have a scout, little baby boy. Oh my god. <laughs> I know everything about you now. <laughs> I'm already attacking you. I'm already attacking you. Wait. Is that putting pressure on? Are micro? you feeling How's nervous? your micro? Let's see your micro. <laughs> Shit. Uh, not that good. <laughs> I don't have the time for this. 
All right, Chad. I built a shrine. <laughs> uh huh. He's always talking. That's what the thing about Shake. He's all talk, no action. I'm building an iron vault. I have three buildings though. I hope you're ready. Uh, yeah. I'm born ready, bro. Don't forget to build workers. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. What is this? A shrine? Stupid build. Can I already tell a stupid build? <laughs> you think my dog can't? Oh, wait. My dog's losing, isn't it? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I can't, okay. It's not letting me move, okay. All right, all right. Uh, I cannot control my workers after they build. Okay, interesting. Really? So it's like easy mode, because I can. Oh, I, I wish I could. I got so much APM <laughs> left. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay, I got my... What does this shrine do? Heavy mechanical structures. What do you think you're doing? That's my fucking question for you. I'm building, building heavy work. mechanical fucking okay. units. I'm, I'm, I'm... My APM's crazy. People on the channel oh, are saying build, they can't... Oh, I fuck, they, they can't keep up. Center. I fucked up. I have two command centers already. <laughs> Oh my god, wait, what the hell is that? It's a, a brute. Brute? You don't know about brutes? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, this, I have a spire. You're not ready for that. It's going up. It's going up. You got a spire? You got some anti air, buddy. Not enough. I'm here to I actually it. hope you. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Let's focus. Let's focus. Wait, there's creep camps. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, I'm going straight to your base. <laughs> I want $200. I need oh, it. No, oh, 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 relax, attack. relax, relax. Go for the creep camps, bro. Go for the creep camps, bro. I'm here to assist. Confirmed. Moving down. Moving down. Moving down. Moving down. Moving down. I wish I didn't have two commands on Or shrines, sorry. Not enough. Oh, I don't have Illuminite. I don't have enough Illuminite, bro. bro. The thing about me is I am low on Illuminites. Okay. It's on two. It's on one. Uh huh. How do I. Not enough. Is this game? It's weird because. <laughs> right, never mind. I'm not worried. <laughs> you sound worried. I'm not worried, bro. That's the thing is, I'm not worried. I'm creeping and I'm so rich. <laughs> You're always creeping. I'll tell you that. Everyone notices. Uh, how do I? Okay. What do you um think I should buy with your two hundred dollars? Uh, Simple question. You're not gonna win. <laughs> I'm gonna send them to your base. You keep talking like that. I'm gonna send your base. I was being nice. I was creeping. <laughs> Bro, you think I can handle a couple grunts? You're fucking crazy. Brutes, okay. <laughs> Whatever. Call them what you will, bro. They don't stand up to what I got. What I'm packing. How do you get more money? That's my life Oh, there's question. other resources. I don't know if you noticed. There's like different resource types. <laughs> I, was being legit. I was being real. I was being real. He's a I didn't talker, know. bro. I swear to God, you're a yapper. Your favorite thing to do is yap. Alright. The thing about me is I stay strapped. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 21. Can you do some for me? Our forces oh. are under attack. Oh, oh, how's this going? I actually don't know who wins this at all. Okay. I'll supply cap, so you're actually helping me. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. I can't tell who wins this. <laughs> oh, I'm winning for sure. 
I have better micros, I think. So when your unit gets low on health, you want to run away? <laughs> I don't like him, chat. That's <laughs> where God, he's an op. Uh, okay, I need a... Uh... I can't believe I lost that. What is, what is, what is, what is this? Oh, I don't know what any of this is. Oh no. I don't know. Oh, anyway, yeah, 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 yeah. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. What it won't. Can you do something for me? What are these? Thing is, I stay moving. That's where everyone in my chat is. Their mind is blown by how fast I'm. Look out, coming through. I'm expanding. I'm just letting you know I'm expanding. <laughs> You're such a talker. Uh, You're literally rapping Toyo Savage, but I'm the talker. Uh, I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying. Transiting now. Where? Just get ready for flying units. I, I hope you have anti-air. Transiting I see you. Not enough luminite. Hey, do you see this, bro? I'm coming. I'm not fighting you on <laughs> creep. <laughs> it's a battle. It's a battle, baby. Oh, not looking so good for you, is it? Our forces are under attack. The fuck is this? <laughs> Wait, am, I, am I losing? Am I losing? I don't, losing. I, don't, I, don't I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know what these units are. I'm losing, bro. Oh, I have, a, I have a transport. Hold on, I'm gonna dropship you. Don't dropship me, bro. I have a little class. Our forces are under attack. Okay. Here's the T. So yeah, all I'm trying to do is trying to get resources, trying to build an army, and then try to kill Shake Drizzle so I can get 200 smackaroons. Our are under attack. Uh, and I'm using the knowledge I learned from many, many moons of StarCraft. How, how do I... Um, how do I get more... Insufficient supply. Damn, I'm really. What's next? I want Not to win. <laughs> uh, maybe this. Okay, I'm trying to just. Make sure you're expanding, man. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Straight up. Nobody asked, and I tell you that with all confidence. There's not a person that asked. My blade is ready. On the tail. What do you Our reckon? forces are under Get out of here! 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 I swear to God, chat. I killed zero workers. That was terrible. Fuck. Things are fine. Things are fine. Where would you even possibly? So the thing about games like this, chat, is that bad players like Shake, they just sit in their base with their armies, and they have no idea of like what map control is all about. See, this is me. I'm stopping his expansion. So now he can't get any resources because I've sort of blocked him in. Right now what he's doing probably screaming at his monitor, probably crying, pissing, shitting himself. And I I just don't have to worry about that. Because I am calm, cool, and collected. Now here's the thing. Once we kill this, we're gonna run because his army's bigger than ours. <laughs> we're gonna run. 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 That, that was pretty good. I'll give it to you. Hey, that was a good move. I'm a, I'm a big enough man to admit that. <laughs> But right. I don't think you've expanded yet, have you? Uh, you don't know. I what told I'm... you to, but you. You don't confused. know. 
the hell is a vision cam? It's going up. This is what Jeff Bezos does, Chad. Is once he starts getting a lead, he gets more ahead. He makes his factory workers work twice as hard instead of less. That's the key to good business. Oh, I forgot to build a shadow cleft. I'm so stupid. <laughs> Dude, I, you are stupid. How could you not build a shadow Our cleft? Our forces are under attack. Sensor drone, huh? What's is that supposed to be like invisible or? I can see it. <laughs> well, don't kill. Oh, you killed it. I did kill it. Ah, kind of cringe of you. Reporting for work. Kind of cringe of you. Uh, is it just me or is this sensor drone OP? You know what, Cassie's for free from my menu? That's OP. You're playing the OP race. That's cool. I actually might be am. That feels bust. It's like an overlord, but free and it lasts a long time. Wait, how the, how the hell? How the hell did he expand? How the hell? Interesting. Awaiting instructions. Oh, I have upgrades. Don't forget about upgrades. Oh, wait. <laughs> you should have said that. I, I did forget about upgrades. I'm, I'm helping you out. <laughs> I'm helping you out there. Uh... <laughs> you want good content? Don't talk to me about content. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> you know how to add a motion blur to content. Hell yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, I do. Oh, little expo. Okay, I'm gonna attack that. I don't think you can ever attack what I'm putting down. It's going up. I feel like I'm. See, I don't know what any of these. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> Every upgrade, it's like grants the smorgasbord the fluke ability. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't like. I don't know what the Schmorgers loop is, bro. Oh, I I'm... even noticed the abilities at the top of the oh, screen. Oh, that's your that's your mistake. Yeah, wait. That's your folly. Ready and wait. That's your folly. I'm reading it. I still don't know what it does. <laughs> it's not a great time to admit you can't read, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I would have. I would have held off on that. What the fuck is shroud cover? I don't. Shroud can make things invisible, I guess. <laughs> I'm so lost. He's lost, bro. He's lost, and I'm found. Oh wait, my resources are gone. Same. We have a good macro game. That's the thing about us. Yeah, we're always been macro players, not cheesers. Leave my expo alone, man. <laughs> I'm just not gonna do that. I'm gonna trample you. <laughs> Our forces are under attack. Okay. All right. Oh wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yeah. Look at this micro though. Are all my units melee? What the fuck's going on? <laughs> oh, there we go. Wait, I have the build. I actually win. You're dead. It's over. It's Dude, over. Dude, I took so weak. <laughs> oh, Oh, I built three transport units the on Battle of Kanae, dude. A slaughter, a trouncing. Is, what is a shroud stone? I don't know. I'll get out there. Oh my god, it's so <laughs> fucking over. <laughs> Why don't my units die immediately? Holy oh, moly. It actually was so over. Best of three swap races. <laughs> Yeah, deal. 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 Good luck with these guys. Good luck. You gotta read a lot. What the fuck? They have a consume. They call me Young Napoleon, bro. You're supposed to know how to use fucking defilers. Tactically. You just press A. You're playing a Protoss race. I'm fucking having to do like abilities. Look at that. Boom. Uh, that's good stuff. Wait, I manifested a shroud stone. <laughs> well, you should manifest a different career because <laughs> general's <laughs> not yours. <laughs> all right. What is this? Let's three. Let's three. Let's race. Swap race. Swap race. I got swap races. All right. Swap races, bro. You just build marines that you want. It's really impressive, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? My audience died immediately. Yeah, that felt. That felt. What was easy. your population? Uh, right now it's 152. That's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty good. Did you have an expansion or no? 
You kept killing it. <laughs> That's why I wanted. I was nice enough to tell you. I did have an expansion. I had an expansion the whole time. I was printing money. All right, that's a dub. How do I uh, leave, win? Leave, leave, How do leave. I leave? Did you leave? Yeah. It says waiting oh. for results. Oh, I got you. I don't want to. I look. My macro was <sighs> not the best. Let's see. Can I get a graph here? Nothing. I don't want to see a graph. <laughs> There's actually no graph. Unfortunate. My first note to Frost Giant Studios is out of graph, so you can brag. Also, uh, less reading. <laughs> Uh, let me see what novel you're talking about, bro. You're talking, you're talking sweet. What map? Good luck, go, bro. Jagged Maw. Uh, give me the ID. Yup. Once I create it, here it is. I will be the dreaded Infernals. Uh, uh give me a tip about the Infernals. I'll give you a tip about the Vanguard. Uh, I didn't learn much. <laughs> Uh, there's a transport unit that you can you can do drops with. <laughs> That's so completely That's useless. That's all I learned. It was completely not very good. Completely useless, bro. All right. Well, thank you for nothing. What do you uh, teach me? I will teach you that the essence of victory is a proud heart. Start game. That means nothing to me. Oh my god. <laughs> it will. I don't want to do any more reading. When you're older, it'll make sense. Uh, all right, chat. You are I am old. Now the Zerg. What's crazy is, are you 28 or something? 29? Don't worry about it. It's like, why were you such a boomer at such a young age? Why were you playing StarCraft 1? <laughs> uh, sophisticated. I was really mature for like how, Yeah, it's like, what? Your friends are playing Roblox, bro. What the fuck are you doing? Roblox playing? is not out. You know that. <laughs> Whatever. You're I was child, C minus dude. on ICOP at 12 years you old. Are, really yeah, you're getting C minus in school, little bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Uh, this is hard already. <laughs> it's really hard. This is hard they already. Not lying. Oh, yeah, my tip is don't build a command center as your first building because you don't need two of them next to each other. That's a good idea. <laughs> that's, my, that's my tip to you. <laughs> that's a good idea. Oh, interesting. Interesting. So, chat, when you use your worker to build a building with these guys, it kills the worker. He dies to become the building. That's very Zerg. Uh, instead of just building... Have you played any other RTS in your life? So, oh, my God, bro. <laughs> I, don't, I know you had to play Age of Empires. <laughs> I was top 1000 Age of Empires 4. People talk about me. Uh, I played China when no one else did. I had the, the gall. Did you bravery. play Agent Cars 3, actually? I did. Uh, the one fun, with the trading dude. cards? Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, I love that one. They just added a weird trading card game on top of an RTS. Bring it back. Wait, what is a fell hog? Why can't I move I it? Don't know. I, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm so I can't even move it. Interesting. All right, well, not a problem. I'm supply capped already. I got to work my build orders. That's so funny. Nothing, I was just uh, telling something to chat. Murder to you. What's with your fell hog? Or your, your oyster scout? I'm scouting. You don't have much. You're a little hmm. slow, huh? I'm not slow. <laughs> I feel like I can just build Lancers in the game. Is that, am I crazy? <laughs> no, you're wrong. And stupid. Why does the imp speak Spanish? Frost Giant Studios, could you answer that? <laughs> Why does the imp speak Spanish? We are all wondering. Ready to kill. Your, where's your base? Okay. There's 
very resource heavy map. I would recommend expanding. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. That's the first thing that my army doesn't like. Oh, supply caps again. <laughs> oh my god. He doesn't have it like that. <laughs> You're a lucky You'll dog. never kill myself, though. <laughs> you are a lucky dog. I'm stupid. I'm so stupid. Uh, I'm stupid and dumb and goofy. Yep. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Okay. Why don't the creeps fight back? Am I crazy? Oh, shit. Why is it so weak? Why is my <laughs> shit so weak, bro? It's like Zerg, bro. Why is my shit so weak? Oh, you're getting fucking owned, bro. Bro, it's NR20, bro. Everyone knows, you know, push for Come out, you're playing. I come out, you're ready to play. How do I repair? How do I repair? Okay, repair shit. Finish it, finish it, finish it, finish it, finish it. Oh, wait, oh, my shit's dead. What a cost. What a one cost. Oh, my shit's dead. It's different when I can build bunkers, bro. It's a lot different. Bro, fuck. Wait, this is fucked. Ah, okay. Don't worry about this. I'm out of Luminite. <laughs> well, you've been out of Luminite. Uh, Is it Bob my how SCV? I, how do I get this? How do I... How do I get it? Oh, stop. I'm, sure, I'm meat grindering. I'm going into the meat grinder. <laughs> Oh, I can shield. Okay, I figured it out. Oh my god. Hey, I noticed something. Uh, developers, if you're in chat, if I have my buildings hotkeyed on two and then I build something out of them, it adds what it builds to the hotkey, which is not what I want to do. Uh... Building on two is crazy. It's... What are your units on? <laughs> one? You gotta have multiple hotkeys, all that, right? Bro, I put my other buildings on one. I don't... I'm a macro player. I'm gonna... I control my units with my mouse, bro. Your hotkeys are dog shit. <laughs> okay, well, up 1 0. Interesting. I'm Interesting. not gonna lose with this. Interesting how that works. Or what does this do? Bro, I got medics and marines. You're so fucked. Uh. What the fuck? Oh, you can expand your creep. I get it now. I get it. I actually fucking get it. Medics take forever to train, holy shit. Yeah. Alright. Why is this such a challenge, bro? Uh... I don't want... I don't want none of this. Can I get... Some of this? So you don't need to hockey your structures and can focus on fighting out on the map? Wait, so you don't need to hockey your structures? But I will, I like to. <laughs> I'm not going to change my ways because you made a better system. You need to change your system to adapt to my old ways. <laughs> I think I'm pissing this employee off. 
<laughs> yeah, you pissing me off. <laughs> oh, thanks for the raid. Uh, the quick macros are useful. Okay, I got you. 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 Believe me, I get it. I get it. I'm I'm hip. I'm with it. These new school RTSs are right up my alley. Oh. Maybe I get it even more than I thought. I don't have enough barium. Wait, you have a dev just telling you how to play? With $200 <laughs> in the line? I haven't learned one thing from this dev. He's telling me I'm doing it all wrong. I feel like the dev's doing a great job. All right, watch this. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Oh, you know what you're doing? I'll tell you what you're doing. I'll tell you exactly what you're doing. Did you did you kill that instantly? Yes, sir. <laughs> Wait, why is my shit not attacking? Oh, I'm gonna lose my mind. You're attacking the resource camp, idiot. No, no, hit hit him. Hit him. Oh, this is a disaster. This is a disaster. Come on, you're the big guy. <laughs> oh shit! It's hard, isn't shit. it? Shit! What is with this trash race? Imbalanced, broken, dude. Look, I say game three, we do NR twenty. <laughs> <laughs> this race just wins, bro. <laughs> no, 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 no. What does it do? It's straight up. Doesn't do anything. Maybe. Okay. Dude, my macro is so good right now. Dude, you gotta shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm using every last Luminite. <laughs> you gotta shut up. You gotta shut up. I don't... I'm just not... getting it, so to squeak. Like, my big guys are not... strong, like they... <laughs> Dude, that's what I was saying! <laughs> like, I thought they'd be like ultra lists, but they're more like... making me ultra pissed. I'm saying! <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go, baby. Here we go, baby. Don't forget to expand. You tell me one more time to expand. I'm, I'm driving to where you live. <laughs> I'm driving there. Oh, no, now it's over for you. I'm sorry. No, now it's over. Well, you have a lot of shit. Hold up. Because now I got a brute. Now I got a brute, bro. I didn't understand about brutes because you lied to me. You didn't tell me they were good. I don't know what a brute is, when they got us. Now I'm making brutes. Dude, I'm not using any ability. It's way too overwhelming. No, but yeah, I, I used the one and then you shot it down instantly. <laughs> <laughs> There's too much to think about, bro. It's too much to think about. So, you know what I need to figure out is how to do these resource camps. Do I kill uh, this? Right I, him. Do I get something though? Like, what do I get? I uh, think you get resources, but it's weird because they don't fight back. Interesting. What about a siege camp? What does that do? Don't know. I guess I should figure this shit out. I need a dude. You just always need stuff. You always always gotta be reading. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. Wait, what? What is a shadow cleft? Be honest with me. <laughs> I, I <don't> know. <laughs> what is a shadow? Oh, here it is. I see. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Dude, call me Mr. Shadow Cleft. All right. Man, lash and consume. Wait, are these big guys defilers? And I built a hundred of them? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I was like, I don't want to use Oh, these are like right spellcaster shits? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. Oh, uh, I thought these Low were... Loki, this game is hard. Uh, I see. Which is good. I like Yeah, the, this game is hard. hard. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. 
Do I have siege tanks? Oh, what's the situation? Atlas, that's a siege tank. All right, I'm gonna build that. Don't build siege tanks, bro. Once I get my machine lab, here it is. All right, I'm building armies. Da 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 da. da. Oh, you know what I should do? Wait a minute. These things are so slow, it's crazy. They just don't even... Oh, you know what I should do is like this, right? I should like keep... Keep on keeping on. Oh, I get it! I get it! Ladies and gentlemen, he gets... Oh, oh no. Wait. <laughs> oh, I'm, you're actually outnumbering me a million to one. Oh, no! Full retreat! Full retreat! Tactical retreat! A great general knows when to get the fuck out of dodge. My, I, got, I leveled up an ability, and when I hit you, I get faster, so I'm just gonna keep hitting you, and you're all gonna die. <laughs> you don't have the micro for that. You don't have the micro for that. You don't have the micro for that. I'm doing it. You guys are slow as fuck, by the way. <laughs> it's the stupidest. The it's so slow. Dude, stop hitting my defiler. Watch this. Yoink. Oh, no. That's <laughs> <laughs> nothing. I was gonna wait for my siege tank, but you didn't give me that fucking benefit, so... I'm just going in. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Defend! Defend! Fight, man! Fight! We can hold! We hold here today! Oh, I'm gonna fucking scream. <laughs> Wait till I get my siege tanks, bro. I hate you! I hate game, you! Game 3, no R and R20, bro. <laughs> let's, go, let's go late game. I hate you, bro! Oh my god. Maybe we Vulcan Ditto, how about that? Okay, alright. 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 Okay. Touche. You got some skills. Dude, my macro is fire this game. <laughs> I had like zero resources the whole time. Three bases. All right. I can't wait game. to see the chart. Show me the chart. Oh, there's no chart, bro. There's no chart. All right, they one, gotta, one, 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 chart. one. Frost Giant Studios, after a deep analysis, I've concluded that the Infernal are trash and unplayable, and the game is imbalanced. Yeah, I thought the same thing. <laughs> too, too much, too much reading. <laughs> Uh, all right, all right, two hundred dollars on the line, <clears throat> and we have now reached a one-one impasse. Custom game creates. Now we'll go to my favorite map, Titan's Causeway. Wait, I created it wrong. Titan's Causeway. Wait, what did we do last time? Did we do Dragon Ball? I'm guessing. Frost Giant's getting a drink. They're gonna need a drink, okay? After they realize that I've cracked the balance wide open on their game. Um, we have kind of solved it, haven't we? <laughs> I feel like we solved it, bro. No one else lancers has tried the idea of building a bunch of lancers and A clicking at the enemy. <laughs> what about uh, NR10? NR10. No, we're not doing NR10, bro. There's no NR. You're right? so lame. You don't want to see end game. You, you don't you want to see build content. defense. Cool. You want to get end game, build defense, bro. I did. You're the one who died. <laughs> I had a bunker, bro. <laughs> All right, we both doing Vanguard? Is that the fucking plan? I All think right. so, yeah. <laughs> uh, All right. Send me the ID. You're in the... Oh, someone else is in the game. Wait, no, I, I sent it to you. All right. Yeah. <laughs> game three, one, one. <clears throat> $200 on the line. Vanguard Ditto or Infernal Ditto is the real question. I think Vanguard just makes more sense. All right, fuck it, run it. We know what we're doing. Run it, run it, run it, run it, run it. <laughs> Woo! Not enough blue light. I'm gonna destroy you. I'm playing full oh, on now this game. I'm going, I'm going crazy speed. I'm going insane speed. You're wasting APM. I have something called effective APM. No, 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 no. My APM is going to ten thousand, and I. Have effectively twenty thousand. <laughs> Little bro wants to be fly so bad. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Who wouldn't? Yeah, me too. <laughs> He's the goat. Yeah. Got any macro? No, 
You didn't even use your you didn't even use your dog, bro. I forgot about the dog, okay? <laughs> yikes. To me, that's a yikes. Oh, it stops chasing when you lose vision, okay? I'm learning. Uh-huh. Are hey, don't forget about your scout. <laughs> Not enough yes. luminite. Mm -hmm. Transiting now. Moving Not up. enough luminite. Our forces Bot are activated. under attack. Ow. Ow. I feel like I mastered the build order. <laughs> I promise oh, you. Efficiency. I promise you, you haven't. <laughs> I promise you, you have not currently mastered the build order. That we can all be assured of. Ready to work. Our forces are under attack. Yeah, I thought so. Our forces are <laughs> under attack. How can I help? Woo, baby! How can I help? Our 21. Under attack. Can you do something for me? Ready. This should be Don't good. pretend like you have the... <laughs> That's so much oh, fucking free APM right now. It's, it's very oh, early in the game, you know? You My goal is perfect, don't. so... What is a speed camp? Bad it. Oh, bye bye, Scott. How? Reporting for work. Relocation commencing. Yes. It's going up. Okay. Okay. Not enough luminous. Strike it out. How can I help? I'm here. Let's do this. Mm-hmm. Oh no, I got supply capped. It's over. <laughs> it's over. Nice build, little bro. It was perfect. My build's perfect till 30. <laughs> After 30, I get a little lost. It's alright. It's day one. I bet you're not even using hotkeys for your buildings. I have one through five hockey. <laughs> and you're mad. <laughs> Fuck, I have a little mad shot. I only use one through three. <laughs> <laughs> Holy okay, shit, I'm mad. Yeah. Oh, you can patrol with your scout. Did you know about that? I didn't need to know about that. You know what I'm saying? Your scout's dead, by the way. You didn't patrol him. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for the instructions. Uh, Reporting for work. You're such Not a talker. Okay. You going or bio? What's what's what's, what's happening? I stay I stay flexible. That's the thing about me. Me too. I'm a bit of a hybrid. Yeah. Hybrid warrior. Make sure you expand though. <laughs> Ready. <laughs> uh huh. Are you kidding me? Or are you kidding me? Okay, thank you. Damn, look at my just beautiful. Uh. 
<laughs> oh what? Oh what? That's all right. I needed the supply cap. <laughs> Okay. Wait, everything costs so much fucking therium. You're broke. Ready to work. Okay. Chill, chill, chill. Forces are under What's attack. Up? Where am I needed? Let's do this. Strike out. You'll be need a medic now. Our forces are under attack. Ready to work. Okay. I, I wanted to. Reporting for work. It's going up. Gun dropping. Oh no, dude! Oh no! I I I I I, I right clicked my uh, my my point for my workers onto the therium or whatever, but I misclicked. They've just been sitting there the whole time. That's just bad macro. They haven't been mining. Bad bro. awareness, bad macro, bad everything. They haven't been mining this whole time. How did you not notice? You gotta keep tracking. I was like, why am I so low on therium? It's a resource tracking game. That's the whole point. I'm here to oh, that's a disaster, Sorry, man. Bro. It's, it's NR10. I'm not gonna push. Oh, that's a that's a disaster. Chat, wave hi to shake as he peeks the stream to find out where I am. <laughs> <laughs> I have scouts. I have... Everyone in chat just wave hi, dude, because he's obviously keeping a close tab on what you guys are saying. I would love to dev. If I had a chat and the dev was in it, I would be very happy. <laughs> I don't need the help. So I got siege tanks, baby. Babe. I've done bin head siege tanks, bro. It don't bother me. Hey, respect, respect. Priority one. What's up? Look out, coming through. They'll never see this coming. Reporting for work. Confirmed. Moving down. Constructing. Okay. How am I always? Low. I guess my, my macro is too good, is the problem. There's only one other way to put that. My macro is. No, you're is, not expanding enough. It's too incredible. Yeah. You gotta expand more. Bro, don't tell yeah. me how you think I should play I when I'm sure. so far ahead of the game. Alright, we had 10 minutes. You can push. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, feel free. Okay. Uh. Bot 
I've said a word in my chat in five minutes. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, uh, this is a good game. <laughs> it's a pretty good game, bro. I'm in. I'm into it. I'm, fucking, I'm, I'm back to Age of Empires days, bro. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm straight up focused. Dude, I swear to God, if you don't get your little scouts off my shit, don't even think about dropping me. Don't even think about dropping me. Oh, what? Man, what do you do about that? Yeah, you get get the hell uh, out of here. I'm gonna fly away. I'm like get flash. The hell out of here. Constantly dropping. <laughs> Who can I help? You're over expanding. You don't have fucking up units <laughs> to be expanding here. <laughs> don't oh, tell me what I can and can't time. do. Oh, oh fuck! Hold up! I just pushed you. This is a problem. <laughs> Our base is under attack. What's your exit plan, bro? Don't need one. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Locked and loaded. What's up? Who do you reckon? Insufficient. Look out! Supply. Coming through. No time. No time. Hopefully, that's not, those aren't all your units, right? <laughs> I aim to please. I aim to please. It's on. I'm going. Locked and loaded. Sounds like they're all your units. Forces <laughs> are under attack. Well, I'm not getting encircled, Chad. <laughs> What's up? Talk to me. Talk to me. Gunner here. You're directed. Moving out. Ready for anything. Ready for anything. Is there a way to see which workers are idle? Oh, there is. That's huge. Zero idle workers. Dude, I'm just a fucking natural. You are insane, actually. <laughs> <laughs> what is the hockey for that? If you were to tell your friend. <laughs> well, you're not my friend, so. <laughs> Damn, bro. Friend, friends don't fucking Damn, miss out on rock bro. climbing and play Portal, Damn, Portal 2 or whatever. Bro. You flaked on me recently. You just because did. Because of Portal? Well, because of Overwatch 2. Chat, you I started it. Know, if you guys want to know that the flake status, he is currently the flake king. You started it, though, right? Like, no, I never flaked before that. He texted me at 3 in the morning. I woke up to this text. He's like, hey. I had a dream that you and me played Overwatch 2 all night. <laughs> we, got a, we got a clutch win, but I'm not gonna make it to Rocket League or to, to rock climbing. Well, I'm on new medication. I get weird dreams. What? That's I, not. <laughs> I couldn't sleep well. You had a dream? That's Flake Drizzle in the flesh, dude. All right, focus on man. You lost your fucking entire army. I didn't lose my army. <laughs> He's not convinced. <laughs> No, I made dogs. Oh, no, I made a fucking hundred dogs. <laughs> I picked the wrong button. No, I don't want fucking a hundred dogs, dude. Cancel the dogs. Uh, let's lift the dogs of war. Dude, you think you're hitting me, but you're not. You what are What is the range of the siege tank? <laughs> <laughs> what is this dog? <laughs> Wait, you got a problem? Oh, wait, what is Ranger here, Siege Oh, whoa, 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 buddy, 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 buddy. This classic, you run the units, you get vision, and then you fucking explode them. Oh my god, this is a fucking nightmare. <laughs> Everyone knows TVTs are fucking awful. <laughs> Forces are under attack. Time to Not stay alive. Luminite. What's the cinch? Look out! Coming through! Priority one. Uh, On the go. Who's hurt? Time goes over. Fast as I can. Time to shoot through. 
Oh my god, it really is just a fucking. <laughs> it's like a siege tank war. <laughs> there that you kill? <laughs> yup. Fuck. Yeah. Okay. Not enough I feel like I need upgrades or some shit. I think you can only upgrade abilities. I don't think there's like... There's no like one or unit one. upgrades? Okay. I don't think so. Robot engaged. I don't want any of this shit. Our forces are under Oh no, 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 no. On the double. Why are we running so slowly? Healing engaged. Our forces are under attack. I'll be subtle. I'm good at subtle. Thank you. Not Our forces are under attack. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. <laughs> That's called forgetting a hot key. Speak up! Talk to me. Say hello to my big friend. Say hello to my big friend. Smoke goes over. Who can I help? Ready for anything. What's the cinch? Who can I help? Look out! Coming through! Priority one. Where's the action? I'll get out through. Oh, 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 oh baby! That was big, that was big. That was oh, big. baby! I would hate to be somebody in chat who bet doubt. That would... Yikes. <laughs> that would be a moment I would say to myself, yikes. I would start really worrying about the status of my... my points. That's what I would be doing. That's just me, though. So if I won't they be surprised? Gonna sting a bit. Where am I needed? On the go. Straight to the face. Gunner here. Our Where am I needed? Are under uh, attack. Look out, okay, what through. do I do? What do I do? How do I? What do I do? Hello to my big friend. Chat, I don't think he has any money. <laughs> I think bro's dead broke. Off I go. I have one type of money, it's not the other type. But if there's a cheap unit for one of those resources, I'm golden. I think I can hold, I, I can hold, I can hold. I don't think you can hold. I don't believe you. Um. And then. Not enough luminite. Not enough luminite. Placing structure. Okay. On the go. Who can I help? In the road, Jack. Running hard. Run down. All right. Let's fucking. Where's the action? Uh, uh, 
<laughs> oh no, he found the other base. <laughs> oh, it's over, baby. It might be a little. It's over. You didn't have the money. Dude, I expanded the wrong way. I could expand it down. Let's go. Let's go. Cut him off. See that Napoleon-like strategy? Slice him down the middle with the cannons. Bro, you just spammed atlases. Napoleon didn't have fucking atlases, all right? He had no such thing. This is classic Napoleon, bro. This might be the worst boss of my life. <laughs> we'll play chess again. <laughs> this is worse, believe it or not. He has so many atlases, bro. You uh, stole my bill. Let's go. Let's go, dude. All atlases, all marines. I played it exactly like a... Yes! <sighs> that hurts. That hurts. Dude, my first push wasn't enough. <laughs> I want to see a chart. Where's the damn chart? You should have rushed me, bro. I typed in chat. I said, I'm going to macro cheese him. And I expanded twice right at the beginning. <laughs> oh, I said NR10. Bro. I know. You said NR10. So I fucking but you said it. no. <laughs> I said no because I thought that's a double blind. It's a strategy, bro. Yeah. I tell you, yeah, rush is allowed. Do you think I'm going to rush? I had two expansions too. I didn't know which resource I needed. And then I had a lot of one and none of the other. Fuck. <laughs> oh. Oh, GG's. Uh, GG's, GG's, GG's. Um, I enjoyed that. I, yeah, I it's fun, I right? I understood Infernal. Yeah, I know, I would like to learn a little bit more about Infernal. Um, what I would love to do is play Cobb with you, but I think what I've found out is you can't play it. <laughs> don't fucking, don't even. No, I wasn't. I, guess, I was gonna make a gonna hilarious say joke. <laughs> That's really. I cut you I off. Was say, no, no, I wasn't actually gonna make a joke. Uh, you actually, it only lets you queue it. You can't play it because you need two allies. So we'll have to come back sometime with a third person and uh, and play co-op, because I think that's what their big selling point is. They built like a cool three person with like story and shit with co-op, so. Wait, this custom lobby says one out of 64 players. Can you really play with 64 people in one game? I can't. Would that be a that's sick That's probably RTS. spectators. <laughs> that would for sure lag. But yeah, maybe we get Stanzi and do the co-op uh, for next time we play it. I'm done. Uh, anyway. Check it out on Steam. Steam wishlist it. They're showing it uh, for Steam Next Fest in two days uh, on the 5th. It should be uh, pretty sick. It's pretty fun. Uh, I can already tell it's got unique units and stuff that we didn't really learn about yet. Uh, Shake is going to be trying to learn because he's not very naturally good at it, but he's a hard worker, so I'm sure he'll get there. Um, Hop of Asian Empires right now. Get on. <laughs> That's <laughs> be so disrespectful to them. <laughs> Give me the key and <laughs> switch to Asia. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm super down. We'll play it again. So, all right, thanks, Shake. Much love, GG's. peace. Uh, my Stay Venmo up. is uh, Shake Drizzle Slayer uh, 69 like at. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, yeah, I could honestly play that. Uh, wait, actually, you know what I should do? It's one one ladder game, right? I should probably do one ladder game just to see if I'm cracked just to see i'm cracked you can do the co-op with two but it's made for three yeah i will come back frost giant studios i'm actually gonna ask my contact uh at frost giant um because she was really helpful if we can get a key for stands and then we'll come back and do we'll do co-op um how does this compare to sc2 uh i mean it's obviously similar right and they haven't so i want you guys to know from my understanding they only unlocked a little bit for this test there's like other races there's other units there's a third tech tier. There's all this stuff they didn't include. So it was only the beginning and only the basic kind of units. Um, so we were playing Terran, Ver not Terran Berserk, I don't want to keep, but like, it's, that's it's the idea. And it was, it was, uh, yeah, it was fun. What I liked is they really minimized some of the worker annoyances that I like a lot of RTS players hate. I could already tell that I was spending less time fiddling with my workers and a lot more time just building units. And that was cool. It was sick. Um, I didn't use enough of the uh, the creep, the, the the creeps or whatever, like the hitting the. I mean, there's a lot I have to learn, but for me, I'm a grinder, and I know that if I keep playing this on stream, I will not see another word for four hours. So I'm, just, <laughs> and I really wanted to do a guest promoter Saturday or something tonight because uh, I have not been streaming. I took two days off. Um, the point is though, the very important point I think that we should all agree on is that I won. <laughs> 
that's the important point, chat, is that I won. I beat his ass, bro. Yet again. And I'll take on anyone. Artosis? Artosis, bring it on, bro. Who else? Who else want one? Who any, any, any RTS heads? You know, Artosis talked a lot of shit. Who got ranked higher in Age of Empires 4, Artosis? Um Beastie Viper? Grubby? I'll play Grubby. Ah, I'm such a Grubby fan. Do you know m one of my earliest esports memories? If you guys don't know who Grubby is, he's like uh he's this guy. Um Shame on you, first of all, for not knowing one of the goats. One of my earliest esports memories. This is Grubby. He's like one of the first, um, maybe the first famous non-Korean uh, RTS player. He played Warcraft Three. He's the goat. He's you know one of the all-time greats. I remember I went to DreamHack Sweden, Yonchipping Sweden. I traveled there at like 19 years old. My parents were spooked about it i stayed in a hostel <laughs> i shared like a bunk bed with four dudes <laughs> so i could write about uh starcraft games for team liquid and uh i the first thing i, I saw when i walked in was this giant florida ceiling poster of grubby and i was like holy shit esports is real <laughs> this shit's gonna make it dude i can't wait for this to get big in america um uh, So that's, that's that. Um, Damien Dank, thank you for the prime. Uh, who am I, else am I thinking here? Uh, Jensen Huang, probably not my former CEO. Thank you for the five months. Uh, the Boy Scout CEO makes 1.2 million a year. The Girl Scout CEO makes only 200K. Sexism is real. <laughs> What's crazy is I assume the Girl Scouts are more profitable with the cookies. So like, what is, what's going on with that? Um, what, what, what do the Boy Scouts sell? They should sell something. NFTs, crypto, day trading. <laughs> they should, they should, you know what? All Boy Scout members should learn how to, uh, gamble on FanDuel. <laughs> it should be like a thing where they like do affiliate codes for FanDuel. They go around to different houses and they say, can we sign you up for our parlay? Um... Why? I don't know. Boy Scouts got to start playing high car with Aiden Ross. <laughs> the Boy Scouts of America <laughs> farming Aiden Ross for 250K. Uh, guys, we have plenty of words auto modded because somebody spammed them one time and I banned it because it was annoying because once they start spamming, they don't stop. I don't. Maybe one day we had a popcorn meme and we banned it. I have no idea. Um... Mm, what is the plan for the rest of the stream? I think we're going to do Get Smarter Saturdays. Uh, let me change my game to Just Chatting. And let me change my title to Get Smarter Saturdays. Bring your rotten... Bring your rotted brain and we will polish it smooth. <laughs> um... And I think we were just going to, we were going to see if we can learn something, learn a thing or two. You know, you already learned a lot about tactics and strategy from my masterful gameplay um, of an RTS against Shake Drizzle. But now I'd like you to see, um, I forgot the website that auto made. Auto mated. Auto mated, the website was smarter.atrioc.biz aka glizztube ladies and gentlemen welcome to a segment of the show called get smarter saturdays where we have three simple rules you suggest videos they can't be too long they can't be too boring and most importantly at the end of them we have to have learned something together collectively we get a little bit smarter we find the pieces of content that aren't just trash, but that teach you something on YouTube. And then we watch it and we get a little smarter and week by week, we slowly wrinkle our brains. Um, 
you have submitted all of these videos and I have to the max length of 20 minutes, but we'll pump that up to 25 just in case they're truly phenomenal. Hmm, what does a consultant actually do? That could be fun. We've talked about it, but uh, I like good work and maybe they have a good funny take on it. Why boredom is good for you could be interesting. Um, how air traffic control works. The psychedelic drug that conquered Europe. Europeans, what are you talking about? Is it just ecstasy? <laughs> what is it? What? What? I guess I'm interested, but the oldest voices we can still hear. Guys, that's a mean thing to say about me. I'm streaming. <laughs> I overheard a secret Chinese meeting in Micronesia on vacation. This is probably a Chinese couple, just uh, tourists. <laughs> This dude's probably racist as fuck, okay? <laughs> Two tourists eating dinner, and he's like, uh -huh, I've caught you, Xi Jinping. I've caught you in your fucking trap. Geography if you are bored. Geography and culture facts to ruin your day. I'm interested. Welcome to another one of my random geography and culture facts videos. This particular video will feature facts you may find depressing, offensive, unfortunate, or disturbing, but also interesting. Offensive? Let's get started. The U.S. state of New Hampshire's license plates and a U.S. quarter issued in the year 2000 feature Old Man of the Mountain, a series of five cliff ledges on Cannon Mountain in the state of New Hampshire that looked like a jagged profile of a human face. Well, it no longer exists. It collapsed in May of 2003. Sad. There is a psychological disorder caused by visiting Paris and having extreme disappointment because the city Paris was not syndrome. what they expected. A person experiencing what is being called Paris Syndrome may have the following symptoms. A racing heartbeat, excessive sweating, dizziness, anxiety, vomiting, perceptions of being a victim of aggression, and even hallucinations. The condition is commonly viewed as an extreme form of culture shock. Belgrade. You know, people talk like when people talk about Paris syndrome, it's always making fun of like the Japanese tourists who believed in a fairy tale. But why aren't we making fun of the French people that are so rude <laughs> and have built such a letdown of a city that everyone else is pissed when they visit? Do you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, if they weren't smoking in your face, rude to tourists and smelly people would have a good time and they wouldn't be so let down the capital of serbia is located at the confluence of the sava and danube rivers and at the crossroads of the pannonian plain and the balkan peninsula because of its strategic location belgrade has been battled over in 115 different wars and destroyed Jeez. 44 <laughs> times <laughs> the Hungarian National Anthem. It's like Gotham City. <laughs> You've been battling 144 times. You should move, bro. It's like, it's not even... There's too much disaster to... It's about the sadness, despair, That's lost like, wars, yeah. dead people, and suffering <laughs> Every of the couple Hungarian decades. people because of their sinfulness. Here is an excerpt translated into English. The fugitive hid, and towards him, the sword reached into his cave. Looking everywhere, he could not find his home his in cave. his homeland. Climbs the mountain, descends the valley, sadness and despair his companions. Sea of blood beneath his feet, ocean of flame above. Castle stood, now a heap of stones. Happiness and joy fluttered. Groans of death, weeping, now sound in their place. What are we? And ah, freedom does not bloom from the blood of the dead. Torturous slavery's tears fall from the burning eyes of the orphans. Hungary also has two national holidays celebrating failed revolutions. Okay. <laughs> Finland has been ranked for six years in a row as the happiest... Wait, I'm sorry. They have holidays celebrating failed revolutions? Isn't that odd? Because wouldn't, wouldn't the party that won and put down the revolution not allow a holiday? <laughs> Is it like a secret holiday that only the people's like, uh, 
I can't. It, it's like. Uh, <laughs> it's like if America lost the Revolutionary War, but we still celebrated Independence Day. <laughs> We still barbecued on July 4th. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> like, we're still British. They still, they won. <laughs> Our revolution didn't work. That <laughs> That's really odd. I don't understand. We gave it our best shot day. <laughs> they need to just take the L and move on. Yeah, I just, that's, that's an odd thing to celebrate. Country in the world. But it's ranked in the top 40 countries in suicide rate. Lesotho has the highest suicide rate in the world. Billings, Montana has the highest rate of depression in the United States at 31% of its 180. Any Billings bills in chat? Anybody from Billings? You depressed? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd be depressed if I live there. Billings right here. No, you guys aren't from Billings. Uh, you're not helping. I'm not hurting. You're in Billings. I can't hurt. More. <laughs> I am actually from Billings. It doesn't look that bad. It's not like... It's got trees. That's good. It's not desolate. 5,000. Bro, go to Yuma, Arizona and tell me Billings is depressing. <laughs> this looks fine. Metro area population. Muammar Gaddafi, the leader of Libya from 1969 to 2011 had a strange obsession with former U.S. Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice. He referred to her as an African princess, had a song written for her called Black Flower in the White House, and he also kept a photo album filled with pictures of her. The architect of the Sydney Opera House, left midway through construction, wasn't invited to its opening, and never returned to Australia. He died some 40 years later, having never seen his work. Incest is legal in three U.S. states, and one of them is not Alabama. They are Rhode Island, New Jersey, and Ohio. Though, in what? Ohio, it's only legal when one party is not a parental figure. What? Denmark and Sweden hold the record for the most wars fought against each other a lot about since Ohio. the 15th century. Explains a lot about Ohio. 30. Speaking of wars, check out today's sponsor. War Thunder. War Thunder is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made. Play more than 2,000 tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships that span over 100 years of development. War the Thunder! In dynamic, combined arms, PvP War battles. Thunder! Incredibly detailed and modeled down to their individual Donate to Raytheon! immersive combat experience. As if this isn't enough, there's an in-depth customization system for vehicles. Is this the tank game that, um... Camouflages and place historical markings... Sorry, I just remember we were reading an article about... Ukrainian soldiers who trained on a tank game. Was it World of Tanks or was it this? <laughs> That's hype. That's hype. But the best part is that it's free to play. It's available on PC, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 5, as well as previous console generations. Come play War Thunder now for free using my link in the description below. If you register on PC using my link, there is a large free bonus pack, including multiple premium vehicles, premium account boosters, and- I feel like if you make any YouTube videos about history, it is a money printer with this company. <laughs> the War Thunder World of Tanks company just f automatically finds your address and starts dumping money at it. Uh, Cause I guess the type of people that love history stuff are like the type that can get hooked on this game and then start playing Much tanks for 90 years. Of the 67 people who have served as president of Bolivia, 13 died by tragic means, though only five died in office. These deaths included a suicide, a helicopter crash, a lynching, one was killed in self-defense when he attacked a military assistant, and of course, assassinations. Eight of these assassinations were after leaving office. That's... In 2018, scientists analyzed a collection of photos and videos taken from 5,000 dives into the Mariana Trench, the deepest trench in the world. In these photos, which had been taken over the previous 30 years, they found plastics, nearly 90% of which was single use. And the deepest <laughs> was a shopping bag at around 36,000 feet, or 11,000 meters. The country... Of Think of how fun that's going to be for the little Nemo, you know? The little fish down there get a little shopping bag to carry their groceries back to the anemone. That's awesome. That's kind of cool. 
Uh, it's kind of like we're making these products, these fun plastic-based products, and then sharing them with the animals. F2 Valu is expected to be completely lost to climate change, so it's looking to become a digital nation. Tuvalu would retain its maritime boundaries, and this would enable elections to continue to be held and government bodies to continue in their roles. Coconut palms are not native to the Caribbean. They originate from Southeast Asia and were introduced by European explorers to the Americas I did not in the know 16th that. century. Maybe only depressing to some Americans. Coconuts are not but the native British to may have been willing wow. to give up way more land to the United States at the conclusion of the Revolutionary War than the Americans realized. Diplomats representing both sides at the Treaty of Paris had their own copy of this map. It's been speculated that this red line represented how much territory the British were willing to give up, but the Americans asked for much less, not realizing how much they could ask for. But I guess Wait, so we could have owned Canada <laughs> if we just asked for it? Good thing we didn't. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Good thing we didn't. Smart. Smart of us. You know what I'm saying? We, we cut it off right at the free part, the free and good part. Above it, Tim Hortons, degeneracy, doctors murdering patients. Uh, we could have made the world's largest parking lot. I think we made that joke before. <laughs> we honestly could have given them more of Montana and North Dakota. I think it would be funny if we let them keep a little bit. I think what we should have done is like, I don't know. New Jersey or something is like Little Britain. <laughs> and like that's still part of the UK. We can go visit. I think that would be fun. And like it would have like fish and chips and like red buses and shit. <laughs> Double decker buses. And like that way I could avoid going to London. Save myself the trip. But get all the tourist experience. But we tax the shit out of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but it's heavily taxed, okay? So it's Little Britain, but it's heavily taxed, and they don't get representation. Yes, some Americans think Canada is a U.S. state anyway. Albinos in Tanzania are at a high risk of being murdered, hacked up, and sold in magic potions. Jesus. Between the year 2000 and 2015, nearly 80 albino Tanzanians were reported to have been killed, and nearly 200 witch doctors and traditional healers were arrested in connection to the murders. There was a laughing epidemic in 1962 in Tanzania. It's when they turned on Atriox's stream and he told one hilarious joke. Uh, let me get water real quick. Let me get water. I'm fucking, I'm thoisty after that. Um, Ari's watching Happy Gilmore out there in honor of Carl Weathers. R.I.P. R.I.P. Chubbs. What I saw that pissed me off, though, and it really shouldn't piss me off. It's not that big a deal. But it was like, um, so Adam Sandler tweeted a very, very heartfelt uh, thing about how, what a great guy. Let me see if I can find this. Carl Weathers was. Yeah, here, here it is. <laughs> okay, look. Here it is, look. Okay? Adam Sandler tweeted, A true great man, great dad, great actor, great athlete, so much fun to be around, always smart as hell, loyal as hell, funny as hell. Loved his sons more than anything. What a guy. Everyone loved him. My wife and I had the best times with him every time we saw him. Love to his entire family and Carl Weathers on a true legend. This is a very sweet message. Adam Sandler again proves that he's a really nice uh, person to all of his friends and people around him. Yeah, I think no one's really spoken a bad word on him. He seems to have created a good group of friends over the course of his life. Adam Sandler just seems like a, a class act. And then fucking one minute later, 
culture crave tweets like like they, they found a quote from him <laughs> it's the same fucking tweet they just copy pasted it but then people in the chat are all he got eighty six thousand likes as if like they found him like they talked to him like they did some interview it's the exact same thing like they could just retweet what he already posted It's, it's like so annoying. I just found it to be annoying, bro. It's like, this is this didn't need to exist. This is just you trying to leech off his message. Uh... <laughs> Discussing film clears culture crave. I don't know what you're doing. Uh, yeah, it's not, it's not a big deal. Again, I'm not saying it's a huge deal. It's like pretty normal for Twitter, but it bothered me just a little bit. It bothered me. I was just like, you just retweet his message, dude. Adam Sandler. It's like it's it's from the it's on the same website. It's not even like on Instagram. You copied it over. Um, I love discussing film. Well, there's like discussing film, and then it's like disbussing film, which is just like funny, Star made up stories that everyone falls for. The, my favorite one is like rap TV or whatever. There's one that they they're verified. They look like an official rap account, and they just say random inane bullshit, like Kendrick Lamar ate noodles today, or like. Little Yachty got into beef because he parked, double parked in the same spot. Like, they just make it up. But, like, every single one, people in the comments will be like, no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Wait, why is this even news? Like, why does it even matter? Every single time somebody falls for it. It's, cr it's crazy. Uh... You know what shouldn't bother me, but it does? How fucking scrambled your headphone wire is. It's driving me insane. Bruh. Can you just get over it? Like seriously, it's not affecting the sound output. And like, you're just being a diva, a diva about it. Can I untangle it? Sure, but is it gonna get retangled again? Yes. And almost the tangle makes it better because it gives it a little bit of structure. All right, well, that actually was not hard at all, so. <laughs> That's... That's literally not hard at all. All right, let's see these culture facts. Started with three students at an all-girls school, then spread throughout the school, and then into the wider community. In fact, the school was sued for not containing the epidemic. Ultimately, 14 schools were shut down, and it affected over 1,000 people. <laughs> That's an incredible way to get school canceled, if you have no, no snow days. <laughs> That's obviously, well, that's bullshit. 14 schools all shut down because of a laughing epidemic? I I feel like everyone just agrees to keep laughing and then the <laughs> teachers can't do anything. What, what the? I've never heard of that. It's not real. A laughing epidemic? Interestingly, the <laughs> teachers of the schools were not affected. In 2016, a New Zealand citizen was arrested in Kazakhstan because immigration officials didn't believe New Zealand was a country, but instead <laughs> a state of Australia. In the room she was interrogated in, there was a world map, but New Zealand was missing. She later stated that she believes she was supposed to bribe immigration officials, but didn't get the hint before the situation escalated. <laughs> New Zealand denies people residency visas if the person has an illness or disability that New Zealand believes would be a burden on their health care system. Really? This also includes having a body mass index over 35 combined with health problems that the government feels is connected to a visa. Really? In 1984, New Zealand Prime Minister Robert Muldoon got drunk and decided you can lose to weight, especially in New Zealand. call a general election, which he lost. This may not be surprising, given that in 1854, when the colony of New Zealand was granted self-government, the very first law passed by the very... Hey, I just found out about this uh, when I was reading about upcoming elections this year, which are a lot. Um, the, the Prime Minister of the UK, for example, and I think it's the same for Australia and maybe Canada gets to choose when the election is like that they, they call it they have to do it eventually but like they don't it's not it's not like on a clock it's not like the same time every they get to so like if their polls are looking good they kind of just go fuck it we ball and they run it <laughs> and if they're not they drag it to the last possible second and hope that's what I found out. The, the strategy is, if you are losing in the polls, you just wait and you pray something fucks up. <laughs> you pray, you pray and hold on. It just seems like a really odd rule. It, it feels very gamed. Um, 
One prime minister did it drunkenly once in New Zealand. <laughs> That's kind of the best way to do it. Go live on TV, drunk. Say, ah, fuck it. Let's <laughs> run the vote. Vote for me. First members was enabling the consumption of liquor in Auckland's parliament buildings. Canada had its own version of Jim Crow laws, which required many black children to attend segregated schools, blood transfusions were separated by race, and they allowed private business owners to refuse services to people from minority ethnic groups. In 1910, the country passed the Immigration Act. So Canada had most of the racism, but without the Martin Luther King Jr. They got all the... All the all the sugar, but none of the great taste. Interesting. Interesting. Act, which permitted the government to prohibit the entry of immigrants belonging to any race deemed unsuited to the climate or requirements of Canada or of immigrants of any specified class, occupation, or character, effectively barring virtually all non-whites from immigrating to Canada. There really? are as many smokers in China as there are people in the United States. <laughs> Hot thermal pools have killed more than 20 people in Yellowstone National Park. How about zinners, though? Have killed eight. How about zinners? You would be lucky to find a mammal in Everglades National Park in Florida. Because an invasive species to Florida, the Burmese python, ate them all. <laughs> Estimates on the number of pythons in South Florida range from 30,000 to 300,000. Fuck that. <laughs> a suitable climate for pythons in the U.S. is expected to expand. Fuck that, dude. There is dude. an island in Florida named Crying Child Island. From the year 2000 to 2013, bees and other stinging insects caused 27 deaths in Australia. Snakes also killed 27 people. But out of all of the dangerous animals in Australia... Horses killed the most people at 74. Monka W. A linguist studying Mimbabram, an Australian Aboriginal language, asked a native speaker some basic nouns to begin his. I'm just confirming here. Australia is this big country slash continent, but realistically, everybody lives like, what, like here and here? <laughs> this is all empty, right? <laughs> there's, no, there's no like nothing here. Uh, just green as people. Okay. A study. This included the word dog. The man replied, dog. The linguist thought that maybe he misunderstood or years of learning English had tainted his mother tongue. But it turned out that dog. the languages had an almost identical pronunciation and there is not believed to be any sort of relationship between the two languages. But... Mimbabram is now extinct. That's kind of cool. Over the past century, around 400 languages have gone extinct. That's about one every three months. Most linguists estimate that at least 50% of the world's remaining 6,500 languages will be gone by the end of this century. Some put the estimate at as high as 90%. Is that so sad? Is that, is that terrible? I don't know. If, I mean, if we're losing some really important writings... I guess, but like, if nobody speaks it, and it that is, you know, the point of I think language is very uh, utilitarian. The point is to get some message across. Um, I mean, I think the dream, the the one piece of technology that I think is going to come relatively soon, right, or maybe already does exist, but can get better is um, real-time translation. Just like real-time, really, like with AI. Just real-time, perfect translation. Like you can just talk to somebody and it instantly translates it, idioms and all. Um, the Vision Pros have it, really? Have you checked out the AI translation of the new Samsung phones? Not really, no, I haven't checked it out. Is it based and translation pilled? Uh, Samsung real time translation. Let me see. All right, we are in this. This is two weeks ago. Doing a demonstration of live translate while on a phone call, and this is all done on device with Samsung's AI. And this is wild. You can call maybe a taxi or a restaurant and watch. So we are going to call a real person, by the way. 
So giving them a call, I'm going to put it on speaker, press call assist, live translate. Oh shit. There's languages you can select from. Hello. Hello, I'd like to make a reservation. That's pretty sick. I'd like to reserve a table for five. At it's still slow and not like, not as fluid. What I'm talking about is like the way um, American movies handle being set in another country. <laughs> Did you ever see Valkyrie with Tom Cruise where they just start speaking in German and then five seconds in it just switches to English and they're like, just don't, don't, don't ask. <laughs> just don't ask because we know the audience will tune out. So they just... Um, that's what I, that's what I want. I want like, uh, yeah, or Avatar where they're, they're, yeah, you just, it just translates. I think that'd be so sick. I think that can't be that far off. Um, and that sounds cool as hell. And then, you know, at the end of the day, I think being able to communicate with everybody is cooler than everyone having an individual language. I mean, you could have it, but I just think it'd be cooler if, if everyone can talk in their own and learn and talk and communicate. Um... Despite its popular use in scams and pop culture, Nigeria hasn't. Do you want to hear an AI voice? I mean, ideally, right? It would it would sound like your voice. It would sound or like I don't know. It would be modeled off the person's voice, but in that language. the The ideal point is that it would just do it without you having to learn, so you could speak any language. You could travel anywhere in the world, talk to anybody. That'd be cool. I went to the doctor yesterday. Now I'm back in my... I'm banning you. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> nice try, bro. Nice try. Nice try. Nice try. I haven't had a monarchy since 1963. In 1965, Malaysia forced Singapore to be independent against its will. According to Singapore's prime minister, this caused him to cry for only the second time in his life. The first being when his mother died. And that's all for this video. Let me know in the comments the most depressing or disturbing geography or country facts that you know. Thanks again to War Thunder for sponsoring oh. this video. Make Thanks, War Thunder. That was cool. They weren't that depressing. It's kind of interesting. Uh, let's see what else we got while we're on our learning kick. Let's learn how Nathan makes the most legendary hot dogs in New York City. <laughs> I wonder why that'd be so recommended to me. It's so weird. I don't know why someone would submit that. Mm, the most significant infectious disease in every century. Spanish flu was apparently pretty fucking crazy. Um, why Andrew McCutcheon loves furries? You thought we're going to learn something from that? <laughs> Is this a baseball player? <laughs> um... Kia boys, teenage car theft. That's kind of interesting. Coca-Cola killing Mexico. Hmm. Our entire team needs to be executed. 16 seconds. <laughs> Wait, what? Game had it all. Yeah. What did you think of your team's ability to withstand Florida State's impressive comeback? Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm in favor of uh, execution. Maybe, maybe our entire team needs to be executed after tonight. supposed to stand up for your team uh the ibmification of fang bro we're over fang we're over fang it's mag seven now mag six really it's mag six now let's see apple vision pro unboxing nintendo ds from Scott the Waz, ancient Rome in 20 minutes, 10 million views. Imagine, could be fire. 
Life of a Clodzai or Poke Earth. I watched this earlier today on a TV because it was an Ari's recommended. <laughs> they just they made uh, David Attenborough documentaries, but about Pokemon in Blender. I'll watch the wrong one. Here are the letters the Romans gave us. And here are the countries whose languages derive from Latin. Today, they cover half the world. As for the ancient Romans, the boundaries of their state encompassed their entire civilization. Sheesh. The Roman peace, or Pax Romana, serves as the first example of globalization. Let's take a walk across 12 centuries of the Roman history. And yes, those numerals are also a Roman legacy. The what is Rome? Things. A city on seven hills, capital of Italy. But that is today. And 2,000 years ago, there it is. Another thousand years ago, there. <laughs> a tiny tribal settlement of the Latins by the river Tiber. How did this manage to conquer the world? First, it was lucky with its neighbors. To the north, the Etruscans of modern Tuscany. A mysterious people whose language has never been fully deciphered. <laughs> to the south, Greek colonies. These peoples all traded with each other. It was at the crossroads of their trade routes that Rome appeared. From the very start, Rome has been an open city, a safe haven for outcasts, murderers, runaway slaves. Rome offered migrants a unique opportunity to become fully fledged citizens. Okay. This will make Rome the largest metropolitan city of the ancient world. The Romans themselves believed they were descendants of refugees from the Middle East who had survived the Trojan War. Romulus and Remus were the great-grandchildren of the Trojan hero Aeneas. Nursed by an Italian she-wolf, the brothers <laughs> quarreled where to site the future world capital. Romulus killed Remus, gave his As name one to does. the city, and became its first ruler. As legend has it, there were seven kings, each of which enjoyed a lengthy reign and left... It's good that he did that. Because I would much rather study the Romans than the Remans. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just, just out of pure branding ability, like that was a good, I'm glad he won. Some beneficial legacy, a calendar, a sewer system, or the Capitolium, a temple to the senior god Jupiter. Much of what the Romans later became famous for, aqueducts, bridges, perhaps even the gladiatorial games, were borrowed from the Etruscans. This people had invented the Latin alphabet by adapting the Greek letters for their own needs. It's not surprising that their last kings were Etruscan. Rome borrowed her military and government organization from them uh, while so they, maintaining a stern patriarchal simplicity. In 509, Rome was shaken by a sex scandal. The son of King Tarquin the Proud raped the chaste Lucretia. Tarquin was expelled, making Yikes. him the last king of Rome. So they got rid of kings? The Romans decided to prevent any such concentration of power ever again. From 509 onwards, they elected two consuls to serve a year apiece instead of a monarch. Why were all of their leaders Voldemort is my first question. <laughs> Maybe my only question. Why did they choose the Dark Lord himself to be every Roman leader? The consuls were controlled by Don't the say his name. This consisted of 300 fathers. <laughs> Huge ones. Latin, hence the term patricians. Those not so lucky to be born into the right families joined the plebs. Even if they were as rich as patricians, they were not entitled to take up positions in the state. It is plebs. in the 200 year struggle for these rights that the Republic, literally meaning public thing, will be formed. The plebeians would make up the backbone of the army, and to have their own way, they would threaten the fledgling state with emigration to a neighboring hill. Each time, the yeah, like I'm sorry, this is uh, <laughs> this is subs and non-subs whenever an ad plays. <laughs> Look at the glorious togas. Even if they were as rich as patricians, they were not entitled to take up positions in the state. It is in the 200-year struggle for these rights that the republic literally meaning public thing, mm -hmm. will be formed. The plebeians would make up the backbone of the army, and to have their own way, they would threaten the fledgling state with emigration to a neighboring hill. 
Each time, the scared patricians caved in, introducing, for instance, the special position of a representative or tribune of the plebeians. These had the right to veto any decisions of the consuls. One of the main achievements of the struggle was the publication of the first written laws. By 287. That is a progress, but I've seen this pattern. I've been watching quite a few history videos lately, and there's this pattern over and over where, like, there's some dominant power or king or dynasty or whatever, and then they get weak enough that the public finally demands concessions. And they're like, all right, you know what we'll give you? We're going to give you a voice on the council of <laughs> the advisory council. They always give them something on, on, on some system. And then the second that body votes against the king or like tries to actually stop them, the king dissolves it. <laughs> or, or whatever the leadership power is. They ignore it or they dissolve it. And then eventually later there's like a, a revolution or a war. But like the first time, the, the plebs always fall for this. And it never seems to actually work. I haven't seen it work once in all the different... Uh, Atrioc when he gives the ACLU the whiteboard. <laughs> Yeah, go read that whiteboard. See how effective it's been. <laughs> it's like fucking number one item is play inscription or some shit, bro. I don't know. <laughs> uh... In BC, the plebeians had achieved complete equality of rights with the patricians. The unity of Rome found its best expression in the formula Senatus Populusque Romanus, mm. the Senate and the Roman people, which still adorns. That's the what that stands for. Rome. I did not know that was what that stands for. Interesting. I thought it was like a military thing. In 390 BC, the history of Rome could have come to an end. The city was unexpectedly taken by the Gauls. The guard dogs had sensed no danger, for which they would be crucified every year since. <laughs> Geese awoke the last protectors of the Gauls. I'm sorry, what? That's horrendous. The guard dogs didn't smell the galls. So they crucified them. And then years later, we're still crucifying. I mean, I guess if you can't smell the French coming, you <laughs> something's wrong. But Capitoline Hill Fortress instead, saving Rome from complete destruction. The shaken Romans conducted the military reform. The Roman legion was divided into manipuli, making it more mobile in battle. The Roman army spent the next hundred years in constant wars. Instead of simply imposing a tribute on Always the conquered, the Romans would enter into a treaty of alliance with them. And the loyal allies supply Rome with a never-ending stream of recruits. Thanks to this, the Roman legions were able to stand their ground in battle with the most efficient fighting force of the time. The all-conquering Macedonian phalanx, led by Pyrrhus, a relative of Alexander the Great. The last nope. stronghold of resistance in Italy, the Greek city of Tarentum, then hired the most costly and celebrated contemporary warlord of the time to defend against Roman expansion. Having conquered Tarentum and reached Sicily, Rome now had to take on a much more dangerous adversary. Boy, they just skipped over that. I wanted to hear about that. This city took all of their money and bought the most expensive and best general in the world and then got rolled? What what battle is that? That sounds cool as shit. Uh... Should have paid for soldiers. <laughs> I actually, I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, how good could a general be back then that he's worth all the money, dude? I, like, what, what is he going to say if you don't have a... I feel like having a bigger army... I mean, obviously, we know about uh, what's going to happen with fucking Hannibal, but I feel like, in general, you, you want the stuff. It's like a big esports hire that flops. <laughs> This is a good Venn diagram of chat because I like that metaphor. It is like that. It's like when they fucking spend a huge signing bonus on somebody. Yeah, like LeBron. <laughs> it's LeBron and the Lakers, bro. <laughs> He's just, okay, all right. Let's get a good system going before we try to bring in a superstar. Uh... Carthage, Lord of the Mediterranean. 
The Romans called the Phoenicians of Carthage Punics, hence the Punic Wars. They were fought over the next hundred years. In 149 BC, Rome had taken the greater part of Punic territory and that of their allies, but after each defeat, the trading power of Carthage would rapidly recover. Senator Cato, the elder, began to finish every speech with the same refrain, Carthage must be destroyed, and so it was done. The city was wiped out, all of its population was enslaved, allegedly plowing salt into the earth as an eternal curse. Jesus. Also in 146 BC, the Romans... Is that what happens in part three? I guess they're doing it super fast. That's spoilers, bro. Oh my God, spoilers. I can't believe they spoiled a thousand year old war. Oh, boo, dude. Wow, history spoilers. Wiped out another city, Corinth, making Greece and Macedonia Roman provinces. Rome appropriated the colossal riches of the disintegrating empire of Alexander, but the patriarchal simplicity of Rome succumbed to the sophisticated Greek culture. Greek became, in effect, a second state language. The Roman nobility busied itself learning new words, hexameter, history, rhetoric. Cicero, the most famed orator of Rome, would come to model his speeches on those of the Greek Demosthenes. However, across this immense territory, full rights were only afforded to the Romans themselves. Even other Italians, the majority of the military, had no citizenship rights. These would demand equality, declare war, and win the right to take part in managing the state. This was a total game changer. While ancient Greece remained a collection of squabbling city-states, Rome gradually extended citizenship rights to the conquered, laying down the basis ah, for an empire. Ah, I see. So that's the good times. Having conquered half the world, Rome fell victim to globalization. Cheap grain and an inflow of unpaid slave labor bankrupted the small farmers. These rushed into the cities and joined the ranks of the proletariat, those who have nothing to lose except their own offspring. At the same time, the rich grew a hundred times richer, having bought land from the ruined peasants for a song. Previously united, the Senate and the Roman people split into two hostile camps. The tribunes of the people, the Gracchi brothers, would try to reconcile them. They proposed granting excess public lands to the impoverished peasants and suggested free distributions of bread to the poor. The disgruntled senators decided to suppress the Gracchi movement by force, killing the brothers and Yikes! several thousand of their allies. Rome was gripped by civil wars. Social mobility for the proletariat was offered by... To be fair, though, you should never take anything from rich people, right? We can agree on that. If there's one thing we can agree on collectively, it's like once they've got the wealth, they should be able to keep it in perpetuity and not even a sliver of it should escape their clutch. I think that... That should be a baseline that we build off. We can obviously debate the other facts of that, but like, that is a baseline. Like Gaius Marius, a popular general. He began enrolling the proletariat into the army with a promise of a grant of land at the end of service. This would make the legions personally devoted to their generals. In 49 BC, two outstanding generals fought over Rome. Gaius Pompeius had won the Eastern provinces for Rome including restless Judea, cleared the Mediterranean of piracy, defeated Spartacus slave revolt, and justifiably added the title great to his name. Gaius Julius Caesar had conquered Gaul. Nowadays, they would call it oh, genocide. Shit. He butchered Jesus. a million Gauls and enslaved as many more. He went on <laughs> to defeat the Germans and then invaded Britain. Jesus. According to the law... Killing a million people in a time of swords and shields is fucking crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. That is such systemic day in, day out, arm get tired brutality. One million people with fucking swords and that That's crazy. A general had to dismiss his legions before returning to Rome and in return have his moment of glory, a triumphal entry into the capital to the applause of the I city. thought the population of Rome was one million, which is like the biggest city in the world at the time, right? Isn't Rome the only city that had a million at the time? 
so that's that's crazy. Caesar performed a hitherto unseen maneuver. He refused to submit to the Senate, and having crossed the Italian border, the river Rubicon, marched his legions to Rome. It would take him several years to defeat Pompey the Great and his other rivals, pitting Roman legions against each other. In the process, Caesar annexed new territories and gave Cleopatra the Egyptian throne. After a romantic cruise along the Nile, she would give birth to Caesarion, or Little Caesar. On his return, Caesar would add Imperator, or Emperor, to his name, title originally meaning Victorious Commander, and gain control Long of all live the Caesar. Consul, Tribune of the People, and Dictator. <laughs> you can't say the pizza guy. <laughs> So stupid. <laughs> uh, I was just very pizza pizza. Yes, this was Caesarion is the one that invented Little Caesar's pizza. And that is how Italy gets its wealth today. Rumor spread that Caesar wanted to declare himself king. Conspiracy was brewing in the Senate, and Caesar was assassinated. Caesar left his wealth Yikes. quite unexpectedly for all concerned to his grandnephew. 19-year-old Gaius Octavius. This Octavian immediately joined in the power struggle. In 31 BC, he defeated his last rival, the warlord Mark Anthony, who likewise had an affair with Cleopatra. <laughs> Jesus. The lovers would take their own lives. Octavian was left sole ruler of a vast territory. Well, so what I don't get is like, all right, all the senators gang up and they stab Caesar in the back. Ides of March, they kill him. We've gotten rid of the emperor. And then they just follow his will. <laughs> and now he leaves all his power to his grandnephew. Let's give it to him. I don't... Like, why don't they just kill the nephew too? Oh, not all of them did that? I see. Octavius killed the conspirators. I see, I see, I see. It was kind of like uh, ambush. Um, well, that's extra dumb. <laughs> Damn, that was their big plan? We're going to kill Caesar knowing for a fact that we don't have control of the military or the other people? Everyone loves him? That's crazy. Julius Caesar ruled for four years. Octavian, assuming the title Augustus, yeah, he's kind of winged it. Or the great rule for an endless. Ari? But she knocked. 43 years. Jeez. He didn't formally abolish the Republic. He simply took control of all possible positions, making. Kind of funny that Caesar ruled for four years and gets all of the credit and glory in history. <laughs> <laughs> his grandnephew ruled his entire fucking life afterward and nobody cares his power almost absolute but he modestly called himself princeps the first senator and even though skirmishes with barbarians continued along the borders inside them the period of pax romana set in a period of peace and stability that was to last 200 years Sheesh. the empire experienced an economic upswing bread was distributed for free to 200,000 people on augustus orders Damn. a 500 meter basin was dug at the very center of the capital where 3,000 gladiators mimicked sea battles on real seagoing vessels That'd be so hype to watch. I gotta be honest with you. <laughs> An actual live sea battle in a coliseum? That'd be sick as fuck. Uh, the SKT of their day. <laughs> uh, that's how you get hit with a whaling spear in the audience? Well, that's the risk you take. It's like catching a fly ball. Um... I could go for some Roman bread right now. Why don't we still do that? Why don't we do free Roman bread to all citizens? It'd be hype. Joe Rome, Biden. construction was booming. Concrete and multi-story districts were growing. Augustus had to introduce height regulations, limiting skyscrapers to six floors. And still the citizens were unhappy. 
They complained about traffic jams, pollution of the waters of the Tiber, and high rents. The golden century of poetry dawned. Mycenaeus, Been a there. minister of culture, allocated special grants to praise the value of the state. Temples would be built in the honor of Augustus, and even a month was named after him. Thus, the cult of the Roman emperors was emerging. They would come to be venerated alongside Mars and Jupiter. This is pretty funny, right? Because there used to be 10 months, and it made sense, like December, des, you know, like it's... <laughs> All the, the months were lined up with the number, but then they just shoved two months in there, and now it's all off. <laughs> uh, I think that's really funny. Yeah, October is not... <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, July for Julius and August for Augustus. I believe those are the two that got added, right? Mm. Why the fuck didn't just put them at the end? That's a great question. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but the fact that we still use it globally, basically, to this day is pretty crazy. That's like crazy hype. That's like, that's influence. Why would you want your month associated with the winter? I guess, yeah. If you're going to get a month, you don't want this shitty month at the end of the year. Everyone's sad and cold. But also, it's just hilarious that, that like, at the time, that must have seemed fucking crazy. <laughs> Like, if you are living in a society with a very good, working, understandable 10-month system, and they're like, let's let's just shove two more. It would have been so confusing and annoying. Imagine Trump. Yeah, like, uh, imagine they added a Trump month now. <laughs> like, we'd have to redo everything. It would be so annoying. Oh, it would be so annoying, dude. <laughs> Trumptober, baby. After Augustus' power became hereditary, the senatorial opposition has left us vivid portraits of the first emperors. Suspicious Tiberius unleashed terror under the pretext of the law on treason. Under this law, any action could be deemed offensive. It was enough not to sufficiently praise the emperor or pay at a brothel with coins bearing his portrait. In distant <laughs> Judea, a preacher. They got arrested for going to a brothel <laughs> and not using <laughs> the emperor's coin when buying a sex worker. That's crazy. <laughs> that's, 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 that is a crazy reason to jail somebody. Why do you want them to be thinking about you while they do that anyway? <laughs> Refusing to worship the emperor as God was crucified. Caligula wanted to make his horse a consul. A scholar and gourmet, Claudius, was too occupied with feasting and the reforming of the alphabet to keep an eye on court intrigue. One of his wives, Messalina, was giving women of easy virtue a run for their money in the brothels. And the other, Agrippina, poisoned Claudius with mushrooms to enthrone her son from another marriage, Nero. Nero, believing that he was a born actor, not an emperor, would later kill his own mother, and then allegedly <laughs> the apostles Peter and Paul. Then he again Jesus. allegedly set fire to Rome so as to read the verses on the fall of Troy during the blaze. He would accuse <laughs> the first Christians of arson and initiated their persecution. And finally, he took his own life. Most details of this era are known from That's... Tacitus. A historian wow. and senator who observed the degradation of republican institutions. Yeah, true method actor. The fate of the empire was now decided not so much by the senate as by the praetorian guards. The emperor's personal security force, created back in the times of Augustus. These suffocated Tiberius with a cushion, slayed Caligula by the sword, and hailed Claudius emperor. In all fairness, <laughs> at the same time, the empire grew, expanding into new territories. Roman legions right, conquered all looks part good. of Britain, where they founded a town called Londinium. Provinces were given a transparent taxation system, and the non-Roman nobility began to enter the Senate en masse. A grandchild of an Italian peasant, Vespasian Flavius, would become the founder of the next dynasty. Vespasian and Titus, suppressing the uprising in Judea, committed genocide, again according to modern day, not Roman standards, and reduced right. the Temple of Jerusalem to nothing but the Wailing Wall. On a lighter note, Vespasian had a jolly good <laughs> Roman predisposition. He taxed the collectors of urine at the public toilets. <laughs> <laughs> Titus, the of On a lighter note from genocide, title you got him. taxed when you took a shit. <laughs> 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 oh, 
That's crazy. Uh, you really gotta keep it moving. After a splendid triumph, he opened the Colosseum for the people. Titus would be called the love and consolation of humankind. And after such festivities, when's Commodus? The public treasury. Vesuvius destroyed Pompeii. Plague devastated half Italy, and Titus became a god. Wow, they're still at the height yet. That's crazy. The second century would go down in history as the era of the good emperors. Trajan was considered by his contemporaries the best emperor ever. Rome became a million strong city and the empire reached its largest extent. Rome connected a new Trajan, Trajan. paved roads. This system still oh, damn. determines the transport map of Europe. After damn. Trajan's conquest, Hadrian busied himself with defense, erecting massive fortifications in Britain and between the Rhine and the Danube. Pantheon was built in Rome, the first temple to be topped by a massive dome, a real architectural sensation of the day, dedicated to all the gods. That's Hadrian based. would also include his lover among them, the young Antinius. More of his images have survived than of any Roman. <laughs> The last good emperor, the throned philosopher, Marcus Aurelius, would spend Jeez. most of his reign on military expeditions. In between battles, he wrote his manifesto for Stoic philosophy. Medita oh, the goat? Oh, the goat, dude? Oh, Marcus Aurelius, the goat? <laughs> yeah, you're getting it done? He's writing books that I need to understand before I go live to stream on Twitch? I need to study what a Roman emperor thinks about his day before I go live to play uh, Stormgate. Patience. It was under Marcus Aurelius' son, Commodus, that the Pax Romana, the Roman peace, came to an end. Yikes! He preferred a gladiator's glory to the affairs of... He's crazy. I mean... That is a big bag fumble. <laughs> Commodus. Uh, I told this I, when I was watching the other, the longer Roman documentary, they talked about how Commodus came to power, wanted to do a bunch of fun gladiator games to get the people to love him. The Senate told him they couldn't afford it. Like the treasury was out. And he said, don't worry, <laughs> I've got a solution. And then his solution was to tax the Senate. <laughs> No, they just took it out of all of their pocket. Like, he just took all of their money and then spent it all on games. To... <laughs> Which is, like, semi-based, but the problem is they're going to hate you for it. And then he became an actual gladiator himself. State. Conspirators had the emperor strangled by a fellow fighter, the slave Narcissus. Rome yeah. sank. Exactly. Chaos. Exactly. That'll the next happen. Hundred years brought a sequence of random emperors proclaimed by the army, taking their turn on the throne. Were a liberated slave, a fortune seeker who bought the throne at an auction, General Punic descent who would place statues of the. Someone bought the throne at an auction. I have to learn more about that. Emperor bought throne on auction. Rome. I've never heard of it. Didius Julianus, the Rome emperor who bought the imperial throne and paid with his life. That's crazy. The entire Roman empire was once, once auctioned off to the highest bidder. <laughs> Wait, that's crazy. Oh my God, this it's a paywall article. I have to learn more about this. This is this is crazy. Okay, wait. There's a Quora question on it. Okay. Um, the Praetorian Guard sold the Roman Empire because they wanted money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the immensely rich Didius Julianus who didn't have much money for oh, that's crazy damn I, I mean that checks out what do you think would happen if we did that just straight up like right now I guess Elon Musk would be president <laughs> that's, 
That's exactly what would happen. Uh, he would absolutely buy it. 100%. The former enemy, Hannibal, all over the empire. A Syrian priest of the sun and a former shepherd. Mr. Beast? Do you think Mr. Beast is anywhere close to the wealth of Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk or Mark Zuckerberg? Or... <laughs> no. <laughs> Mr. Beast would not be able to win this bidding war. Uh, isn't Elon no longer the richest person? He's the richest American which is enough to win this. I assume we still have the rule where <laughs> we can't, we, Bernard, you know, uh, could not win. Uh, who owed his popularity to his powerful physique. In 212, Emperor Caracalla, half North African, half Syrian. I think Elon does have American citizenship. I'm like pretty sure he does. I know he's born in South Africa, but I think he's 100% uh, an American citizen. <sighs> you need to be born here? Really? You have to have been born here. George Washington born in Britain, so kind of fucked up. <laughs> kind of fucked up that our rules wouldn't apply to one of the goats, right? granted Roman citizenship to nearly all free subjects of the empire. The idea that you could be a Roman in Judea, in Africa, or any other corner of the empire at all might well be the main legacy of Rome still in use today. By mid -century, There's precedent Rome for that not to be the, the case? Of such a crisis that the whole provinces were starting to split off. The Gauls, for instance, proclaimed an empire of their own. France! Order would be restored by the son of a liberated slave, Diocletian. Having started his career as a soldier, he would end up an absolute monarch. An astonishing example of social mobility. That is crazy. Diocletian split the empire into four, with four... I guess it's impressive to be the son of a freed slave and rise to becoming emperor of all of Rome and conquer the stuff. But I want you guys to know that 50 Cent was born to a single mother with drug addiction and got shot nine times and rose to becoming a $250 million net worth off of selling vitamin water, okay? And friends with Eminem. So there's been greater rises. Co-rulers at four capitals situated closer to the frontier. Rome lost its significance. The Senate became a town council. The country was now ruled by an army of officials personally reporting to the emperor. Thus, the ancient world centered around the concept of a free community and free citizens came to an end. From the princeps, the first senator, the emperor had become the dominus, a title by which slaves addressed their masters. The citizen became a subject, the warrior turned into a soldier, and the farmer a semi-serf. Diocletian himself resigned from the post of emperor 20 years later and went off to his estate to grow cabbages. <laughs> Pretty good way to end After other than Diocletian's getting departure, assassinated. The rulers were fighting for power. Constantine, the future Saint Constantine the Great, emerging victorious. Before the crucial battle for Rome, he allegedly had a vision of a cross. After this, he made all religions equal. After 300 years of persecutions, the Christians came out of the catacombs and were now entitled to build churches alongside the temples of Augustus and Mars. Constantine would take the cross from Jerusalem to the new capital of the Roman Empire, Constantinople. Theodosius I would make Christianity. It's almost, to me, it's crazy. Um, just as someone who's not religious, you know, I'm, I'm just not religious. It's crazy to me the depth of the faith it would take to be persecuted by the dominant power for 300 years. <laughs> And still be like, I am 100% right that Jesus Christ is that dude. I don't know. That's, I mean, I guess all religions have this story where like, <laughs> I think that's crazy. Uh, just like gamers. <laughs> I guess gamers are similar. I guess gamers are similar. We have been persecuted even probably harder, I guess. I actually feel, you're actually right. Actually, I think about it. It's really not a big deal what religions have gone through.
compared to what modern day gamers have to have to endure the slings and arrows we have to endure um Have you ever tried to play a game through lag? Have you ever tried to like uh, ignore a family dinner and then your parents say, just save it or pause it <laughs> and come out, but it's a live service game and you can't save it or pause it? You ever, ever gone through that? I don't think you have. And so, or if you have, you know the true struggle. the official religion and begin to destroy the ancient temples. He would also be the last emperor of a united Roman Empire. His sons split the empire into west and east. The eastern half would live another thousand years and is known to us as Byzantium. The western part would fall victim to the great migration of peoples. Rome, founded by migrants, would fall to the onslaught of a new wave of refugees. Ironically, the last ruler of Rome would be called Romulus. Nah. In modern Rome, not far from the Colosseum and the ruins of the Forum, there is a tomb. Its occupant was neither emperor nor senator, but a simple baker called Eurysachus. Likely born a slave into a family of Greek migrants, he later entered into a bread supply contract with the capital and became so rich that he could build such a monument for himself and his wife. Before Rome, in ancient Egypt and elsewhere, or after Rome, during the Middle Ages, a man would die in the same station in life as he had been born in. The life and career of Eurysachus is an answer to the question of how Rome was able to create a global state that lasted over a thousand years. Be healthy. Do you like? Uh, pretty hype. Pretty hype. Pretty hype. Pretty hype. I learned a little bit. That's cool. Um. I just need to make bread. Yeah, make bread to make bread. You know what I'm saying? Make bread to make bread. Uh, the moral of the story is to eat bread. No, the moral of the story is to fucking sell bread, dude. That was actually Logan Roy. I guess it was Brian Cox. That's crazy. I do think, like, I think America's bread game is weak. I feel like we should have better bread for the wealth of this nation. I feel like we need to have top tier bread. Having been and lived in Germany and in other parts of Europe, I really noticed the quality difference in the bread. Um, my Big Mac buns are great. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not knocking the Big Mac, America's greatest achievement. It's flawless. But outside of the Big Mac, do you understand? We don't have any good... In the words of a great philosopher, why the fuck you fighting over crumbs where the bread at? To Drake line. <laughs> Mm. Have you ever had Italian bread from Arthur Avenue? I don't know. No, I don't know any of those words. Um, the problem with Roman history is that it's so long you can make almost any argument by shifting what you focus on. Uh, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Um, the bread at Subway goes crazy. Sure. <laughs> sure. I mean, I like Subway as much as the next guy. I wouldn't say the bread goes crazy. I would not say it goes crazy. I would say a bite of a freshly toasted Subway sandwich hits. I 100% believe that. When you get a good razzit, I think that hits. I think that I've never regretted my first bite of a Subway sandwich. That's a fact. Um, I just, yeah, you can't eat it. I can't eat it too often. You ever have that toasted whole wheat? That's what I get every time. I get toasted whole wheat. Toasted whole wheat. A little bit of honey mustard. Italian BMT. God, it's fucking good. Mwah.
Do you like firehouse subs? I like all sorts of subs, bro. I'm a classic sandwich loving white guy. <laughs> I'll eat a sub. I'll eat a sub from anywhere, bro. I'll have a Jimmy John sub. I'll have a firehouse sub. I'll have a subway. Uh, it's all good to me, bro. I'll have a Jersey Mike's. You you put some assorted meats and cheeses on a piece of bread. I'll eat it. I'll fucking love it. That, that, that goes dumb hard. Um... I hope you enjoy your fancy sandwich, Mr. Streamer. Uh, I actually have not had a Wawa sub because Wawa is East Coast cringe. Says he likes subs, but never reads subs. Curious. <laughs> Thank you to Marth58 for the 30 months. Jong is taken for the prime. I like trucks with the prime. Just autumn for the two months. Maxwell Hugh with the 14, 22 months. Savannah Koa, they six months. Silver Fang with the, with the tier one. Wait, what is the, what do you think is the goat fast food? Not fast food, but fast casual fast food sandwich. What is the goat? What is, other than a lettuce burger from Five Guys, which we'd all say. Culver's Better Burger. Culver's Better Burger. Butter Burger. Culver's Butter Burger is the, well, I'm not saying burgers. Let's say, let's say not, not include burgers. And I, I don't know what this, I mean. What is the goat fast food sandwich? I feel like it's got to be, in my mind, it's got to be, it's not Subway. Subway's not goat status on any kind of sandwich. They're just good. I feel like the goat, if you include chicken sandwiches, I feel like Popeye's chicken sandwich is the overall, to me, best tasting sandwich <laughs> and i feel like that uh, that that is um i don't know become like a hated take i feel like everyone liked it and then they turned on it like 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 senators on caesar <laughs> but i feel like whenever i get a popeye's chicken sandwich it always hits it always hits and it tastes really good like the quality standard the baseline it's like almost like an in and out burger where you always know it's gonna hit uh, there's not a lot of very like a Burger King has huge variability. Chipotle burrito burritos are basically sandwiches. Burritos do not count as sandwiches, bro. Um, how much? Uh, uh, my brother in Christ, In and Out is ass. No, dude, In and Out fries are ass. In and Out burger hits, but it's not. Here's the thing. I'm a I'm a burger truther, which is that uh, cost almost always equals quality. <laughs> uh, I believe Five Guys out clears all competition because it costs more. I I I don't believe the fucking haters and the fakes. Okay, the plebs that tell me Five Guys isn't good just because it costs money. No, it's the best. That's why they charge so much. Um. But In and Out is is very consistent, very good. I like it. I mean, Ari loves In and Out. Ari will tell you that In and Out is better than Five Guys, and I have to laugh. I have to laugh and chortle and and guffaw. I think Five Guys is greasy and gross, though. Here's the trick: put it in a lettuce bun. <laughs> the way it feels very, it feels healthy. A nice crunch to it. Um. Popeyes is insanely inconsistent. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I mean, listen, I didn't have a good opinion of Popeyes until they came out with the chicken sandwich. I used to be a Popeyes avoider and actually find their stuff to be inconsistent. And then I had the chicken sandwich and it's hit every time for now over a year or more than that. I've been having, and it's been hitting every single time. Um, What is the best fast food sandwich? I have to figure that out right now. Best fast food sandwich. Ooh, the best according to chefs. Number one is the McDonald's. That's, like a, that's a burger. This doesn't count. It's a burger. The Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich is number two. 
to be fair, I do love this. <laughs> I do actually like this. I don't know that I put it at the top of the list. I do think Wendy's makes a mean chicken sandwich. And overall, this is another crazy take. I think Wendy's, is this a crazy take? Are people going to fucking hate me for this? I think Wendy's has the best floor for their fries. As in, I've never gotten fries under a six at Wendy's. <laughs> like, obviously, all fries have variability, but I feel like Wendy's doesn't go to the low. I don't get a lot of shit fries from Wendy's. I think they're always pretty good. Uh, bro, some chatter straight up said, fuck you. <laughs> Dude, so, I love talking fast food because people, it's like in our crazy divided times, it's the one thing everyone feels fully comfortable just being themselves on and they get mad about it. You know what I'm saying? I could talk about fucking Israel, Palestine, and people would be more reserved <laughs> about their takes. Because they, but when I talk about fast food, they get there are more emotion comes out. It's crazy. Uh, and uh, yeah, I believe I, I truly believe that like if you were to tell me gun to my head, I have to get a fry right now. I have to order it tonight, and it has to be better than a five. It has to be decent. I would order Wendy's for sure. I would that would be my safest bet. This is trash. Oh, this is so bad. This just looks bad. I think White Castle is F tier. It, it all looks dog shit to me. This is 90% bread. This is, this is terrible. Uh, uh, White Castle is only hits the spot if you are completely on substances. <laughs> if, you, if you are stone sober in the middle of the day, why would you ever pick White Castle? Why would you ever? Uh, double double animal style. That's a burger. Jersey Mike's original Italian. Uh, I'm a simple man. I would definitely eat this and enjoy it. This seems really basic though. This is like the most basic sandwich you can think of. <laughs> like this, I mean, this would hit. I would eat this with this with a bag of chips. <laughs> that just makes your whole afternoon. <laughs> I'm full up. I feel good. But this is a really basic sandwich. Uh, do you guys ever put the chips in the sandwich to give it texture crunch? I feel like I would open this sandwich up, put Lay's all in here, and then ow, that would be magnifique. Magnifique, dude. Chick-fil-A spicy chicken. I don't know if I've had this. This looks good. This magnifique. Yes, this is the goat. Damn, I, this just looks great. This looks so good to me. My my neurons have a well-worn groove between the taste center and the image of this fried chicken sandwich. Uh, I think this is my goat. This is my goat fast food sandwich. I think it's actually not close, but I do want to try this. It looks pretty good. Uh, and those are the ones. Okay, well, I feel like my list has now been backed up by chefs, okay? Because I like the ones they put on here other than this terrible one. Um, so all the haters now have to contend with that. Oh my God. Uh, Arby's classic roast beef sandwich. This looks foul. <laughs> this, looks, this looks fucking gross. This looks like old horse meat. Oh my God, this is the image for, for signature fast food sandwiches. This is the image they had for their top of their list. Yeah, this looks like... <laughs> we have the meats, bro. We'll fucking get rid of the expired ones. Uh, It's so good. Are, is there any unironic Arby's lovers in chat? Be real. Are you an unironic, like you pick Arby's over other things? Like you have a choice. Let's say you got Wendy's, Arby's, In and Out. You go, you go Arby's. Damn, I feel like I've never, I've never had a good Arby's experience. Oh, dude, I'm still looking at this image. This part right here where it's wet makes me actually want to vomit. <laughs> this actually looks fucking gross. Uh, it looks slimy. 
their smokehouse brisket sandwich is fire though arby's smokehouse brisket sandwich Jesus Christ, bro. <laughs> bro. This shit's a heart attack on a bun. <laughs> this shit will kill you young. Uh that, I could see that hitting though. I could see it hitting. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie, dude. Pile a bunch of meat on there. Uh but I don't I, their their images are not up to standard. They're at least they're too honest. <laughs> their images are too honest. They need to get a, the McDonald's guy to, <laughs> to, to fake them up, dude. Uh, smokehouse brisket sandwich. Okay, what about, what about, what about, what about, what about, what about, damn, these, all these images look terrible. This is their image of the Whopper, dude. How does that, that's, that's a tragedy. <laughs> that's, if they use that, they wouldn't sell a goddamn single Whopper. That ah, it looks it looks like the Sag mode. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's too honest, but uh, again, number one on this list, Popeye's classic chicken. And guess what? Even though most of these images don't look that good, even this one looks pretty good. The I, Popeyes, Popeyes is my goat. Dude, I feel like I'm I'm getting more entrenched in my belief, which is what the internet is good for. <laughs> the internet's best ability is to take a belief you held loosely and make you hold it tightly and ingrain it deeply in your brain so you can never switch sides. That's what I'm doing. Okay, I am now locked in. Uh, I've now been echo chambered. Yeah, exactly. Have you had Dave's Hot Chicken? I have, and it is good. I will agree with you on that. I guess what I was trying to find out, though, was, like, sub sandwiches. Uh, like, you know, Jersey Mike's, Jimmy John, Subway. What's the goat thing you can order from there? I don't know that. Oh, dude, what is this? Do you guys know about pot bellies? Is that Chicago or something? That looks pretty fucking good. That looks like that. That looks good to me. Hand slicing meats to order. Best steak sandwiches. Highest quality ingredients. All I know about Potbelly is that. Um, so there was a guy named Brandon Roten who worked at Wendy's and he hired. Um, I forget her last name. Amy who was the, the Wendy social media person that invented roasting people as a brand. <laughs> you know how Wendy social media was like way ahead of the game for a while. They did like all the roasting and all that, all that stuff. He hired her and she crushed it. And then he got a lot of the credit. And I'm sure he did a decent job of like being CMO and he hired her and got good people. But like he wasn't the person actually turning around their social media. <laughs> he just hired somebody. And then Potbelly hires him from Wendy's to like do the same thing and he can't do it. <laughs> he gets this big job as CMO of Potbelly and is like fire within a year because he doesn't he doesn't actually have the skill. Like he just his only thing was hiring her. Uh that's what I know about Potbelly, but I don't know. I mean, I never heard about the sandwiches. They actually look fucking good. Jersey Mike's, okay. Jersey Mike's is the best sandwich chain in America right now. Best by Mm. The Cancro Special at Jersey Mike's. Is this what the what is that? The Cancro Special? Cancro Special Jersey Mike's. Oh, that does look pretty good. Wait, 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 wait. That's a good looking sandy. For sure. I would love it to be toasted, but <laughs> too hard. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Arby. <laughs> I feel like this is too much. I feel like this is like giving up. <laughs> uh, 
Jimmy John. Wow, that's a lot too. Jesus. I used to eat Jimmy John's every day. When I was a League of Legends addict, I only ate one meal a day, and it was one Jimmy John sandwich and a cookie. I would play 12 games of League of Legends in a row, eat Jimmy John's, play 12 more games, pass out 4 or 5 a.m., wake up at a random time, immediately start grinding again, skip every class, just over day in, day out. I wouldn't even know what time of day it was. Just wait for the sun. Like, the sun would be my cue, but I wouldn't even... <laughs> Just pure fucking all-in League of Legends degen. What did your roommate think? I had three roommates. We had a we had a four-person um, apartment, four rooms in a central area, and um, two of them were kind of also degen. So sometimes I wouldn't even see him for a while, and then one of them was my boy Lorenzo, good friend. He to save on rent, worked at the apartment place we lived. He was like, he was an RA or something. He worked there, so he would have to get up, but he also played league. <laughs> so he would play league with me till like 2 a.m., and then I would keep going till 4, but he would pass out and then wake up at 8 a.m. to work. And uh, eventually our schedule started to get so disparate that we would see each other at the weirdest times. He would be coming home from a shift or whatever. <laughs> but we would often go to Jimmy John's together. That's me and Lorenzo bonded over... And I remember what the crazy thing is. So Lorenzo was the, again, he he's um, he was uh, he wasn't as good. I'll just be honest with you. He didn't. He never grinded the ladder like I did, but he did play league almost as much. And he hit number one in most Kogma games played in the world. <laughs> I'm not kidding. A hundred percent fact. It was on the website that would track. He had the most Kogma games played. He would only play Kogma. But the thing is, I don't know if you guys know League of Legends, Kogma is an AD carry that goes in the bot lane. He didn't like playing with supports. He wanted to do his own thing. So he would only play Kogma mid lane AP, like as a, as a mage. <laughs> and that's really annoying to your teammates. <laughs> So he had, I'm talking about thousands and thousands of games where he would insta-lock. I mean, back in those days, you don't get to pick your role. So back when we played, again, this is boomer days, you couldn't queue up for like, I want to play as mid lane. You would just queue up and then it would throw five people in a game and you had to figure it out in chat. So he would every game say me mid, lock Kogma and not speak. <laughs> you can understand, starting out every game like that, frustrates people. People would get so mad because they don't see Kogma as a mid champ. So, um, and like he, he wouldn't say mid or feed, but that's what he would do. If someone took mid or didn't believe him or like tried to try to force in the bot lane, he would just walk mid anyway and duo there. <laughs> so I'm not kidding. He probably lost 30% of every game he played instantly from champion select. Like people were so mad he, uh, he he really had a... One thing I'll give Lorenzo credit for, I think he's got one of the best mentals of any person I've ever met. Um, for reference, I, I don't know. I think it's worth mentioning because it's one of the things I admire so much about him. Uh, Lorenzo's a black guy and um, he married an Asian woman and they are great and they have no problem. And both of them, I think, I, in my experience, experienced... We both lived in a majority white school in Arizona. That's where I met him. And I saw both of them experience at least minor racism. I wouldn't say it was like a, well, at least I saw some microaggressions. For example, I saw Lorenzo, a teacher, Lorenzo worked really hard in class and was really pretty smart guy. He, um, I remember a teacher, he was talking, they were talking about college. Teacher was talking to both, to, like the teacher was talking to me and Lorenzo about college and like what we were gonna do. And the teacher said to Lorenzo, well, it'll be easy for you, right? <laughs> It'll be easy for you to get everything paid for. Like, what? Excuse me? And I, I, I didn't understand. And then, and, and I remember in the conversation, I was like, kind of thinking about what? And then Lorenzo was kind of like, what? And he's like, oh, because, you know, you can get all the affirmative action uh, uh, scholarships or whatever. And the, and the teacher wasn't even trying to say anything. Like, it was so casual to him that he was, like, undermining the work that Lorenzo was doing. And I, I was one of the first moments I was like, wait, that's really fucked up. I was like, really, that was really weird and fucked up. And then, again, not to uh, throw anything out there, but like, um, how do I say it? <laughs> I'll just say this. 
old Asian people are racist too, okay? <laughs> I'll say that, okay? And he had to deal with some members of her family that were not comfortable. Uh, and, you know, he had, to, he had to overcome that. Like, that was, that was, I, 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 I I've had a lot of conversations without that, and I'm like, I'm extremely impressed at what he's pushed through. But so anyway, all that to say is he's a, a super dope guy. Um, and that gave him the mental fortitude to survive League of Legends in a way where I would have thrown myself off a bridge. <laughs> because he would day in and day out for hours at a time, lock Kogma instantly lose. Like instantly his team would flame him, scream at him. Uh, like I saw that over and over and over and over and over and over and over. We'd sit next to each other. We'd be degen grinding. Uh, I don't know. It's crazy. Uh... How did you stop your league phase? I, I've told this story many times. I, I uh, We won uh, Ivy Law, which was like Riot's collegiate best college team in America tournament. We won, we beat uh, University of, of Texas. I forget now. UT. And we, uh, ASU, we won Ivy Law to become the best college team. And that means we got invited to the biggest league tournament in the world uh, at the time, which was IPL. IPL 5 had happened. It was fucking amazing. It was huge. It was crazy. And then IPL 6 was going to happen in Las Vegas. And they had, like, the early team that became Cloud9. Uh, they had, like, TSM. They had, like, all the big teams. And they had, like, two slots for one was college team that won Ivy Law. And one was, like, um, I think, like, a... If I remember, it was like a exchange Taiwanese team or something. Anyway, it was like two two like amateur slots that could come in, and so it was like a big opportunity. Like we were obviously probably going to get rolled because college team was not going to be able to compete. We were still going to classes. I mean, some of our team was not, not me, but we were we were still like we were a great college team, but we probably would have lost to all the pro teams. But it, we were going to play them on stage, which is awesome. And I was so excited, and we got jerseys made, and um. And Nick Allen, who is a friend of mine now, <laughs> uh, I have a long history with Nick Allen, but Nick Allen at the time worked for IPL. And he would message us and he's like, hey, we got your hotel, we got everything set up, we got your flights, get ready, it's gonna be awesome. And then I posted about it on social media and I'm telling my friends and family and I'm like, this is it. All of the grind's gonna be worth it. We're gonna go to IPL, we're gonna get noticed. All right, this is gonna be, <laughs> this might get me on a team. Um, is Stan's your water boy? Stan's at the time, was the team manager and our sixth man. <laughs> That's what I'll say generously. Stans was our sixth man, okay? But you need a good sixth man, all right? Uh, and so we get invited to IPL6 and it's supposed to be fucking amazing and I'm super stoked about it. And then right, I'm talking about right before the event's about to happen in Las Vegas. Um, Ziff Davis Media buys IGN, the whole company, and says, okay, you guys are spending too much money. Let's figure out what to cut. Oh, you've got a huge esports tournament? Esports is stupid. <laughs> cut that. <laughs> and they just cancel it. They just cancel the whole fucking tournament like right before it's about to happen. Um, it was a disaster. It was super devastating for me because obviously I was in getting, getting a lot of fights with my parents over grades and I had just been, you know, you know, you, you like push responsibilities aside to focus on a goal and then the responsibilities come back, but they're angrier <laughs> and it's like overwhelming. And I was like, damn, I just fucked it up. I got, this is all for this. And um, so it got canceled. Um, it is a disaster. My dad, who doesn't follow any esports news or knows about Ziff Davis media or anything, he just thinks the whole tournament was made up. He thinks uh, when I don't go, he's like that. And we get to a massive fight. <laughs> It was a huge fight with my dad. Um, and like I, we don't even speak for a little bit after that fight. And then at the time, I'm at my lowest point kind of, and I'm like, all right, well, I want to work in esports, but but being a player is not it. <laughs> also, by the, oh, by the way, I had done some minor teams. Like I had, I had uh, in addition to practicing for the ASU team, I had joined some, some minor uh, league teams because this is before LCS, so you could join a team. I was on team FXO where they paid us like in mouse pads, <laughs> you know, and I was like hopping around and doing tryouts and shit. And it was like, it was just such a pain in the ass. And I was like, wow, being a player sucks ass. I don't want to be a fucking player. So I, 
I was like, well, what does esports need to get big in America? Marketing, because <laughs> it's big in Korea. Why wouldn't it be? And then so I was like, all right, well, I'm gonna study. I'm gonna like really focus on fucking finishing my uh, marketing degree and actually learning. And so senior year, I actually tried at school, uh, and uh, ended up working out. Ended up working out where I got the job at Twitch. I mean, that's a lot of that's uh, there's a lot between that and that, but I don't want to do all the stories again. Um. Is there a video of the Ivy Law Finals? There is not a video, I assume, but there is a photo um, right here. This is the photo. 569 weeks ago <laughs> of us winning it and then the team holding me up. <laughs> or you could say carrying me. Uh Did you play Fizz? No, I think I played in this. It was a best of three, but in this game, I think I played Cassidin, <laughs> if I recall. Twisted Fate or Cassidin? Uh, they banned Fizz? Almost certainly. Um, Fizz might not even been out then. I'm not even... My timeline's not great on, on all of this. I feel like Fizz came out later. Um, why do you look more bald then than now? I don't look bald. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't look bald, bro. I don't know. What, what is bald? There's hair right there. What, what, what? There's hair. Do you guys know what hair is? It's stuff on top of your head. Like, uh, uh, wig? You think this is a wig? <laughs> uh... Anyway, it was cool. We had this whole room rented out with everything. We had, we had like the games. We had all our PCs set up next to each other in this like like a lecture hall almost. And then we had the game being broadcast on here so people could watch us. We had like club members watching us. It was cool. It was it was like a real intense moment even though we were playing. Uh, so greasy? Yeah, I was greasy. <laughs> I was a League of Legends addict. Yes, I was greasy, bro. What? what <laughs> what's the problem with that? Yes, I got a little grease in me. Uh, was Stans not a player? Stans was our sixth man. He was, uh, I mean, he was very good at some points, but he he was a support main and we had a better support player. So, uh, yeah, Stans may have taken the picture. You played Fizz back then? I don't think Fizz was out back then. Ever since Fizz came out, I basically played nothing but Fizz. Fizz and Pantheon. Um, but I don't think he was out then. When did you beat Faker 1v1? I have never beaten Faker 1v1, but I can tell you that um, at the first world championship that Faker won, season three, I was in the press room doing interviews for Team Liquid and I interviewed Shox and um, Ocelot. <laughs> uh, and I remember I only questions I asked them were about Faker. I asked both of them questions about Faker the whole time. <laughs> and only later I realized what a stupid thing that was to do. But I remember asking Ocelot, like, what do you think about Faker's mid lane Riven? <laughs> <laughs> like what? Well, that's not a question. I shouldn't ask him that. Um, yeah, I was I was a big fan. I was a big fan. Any hoot, uh, Chad? I think I'm gonna wrap today. Uh, and then by that I mean I'm gonna start spinning bars. Um, I am. Uh, I just wanted to do a fun little get smarter to get back. We are a hundred percent, a hundred percent not going live tomorrow and 100% doing predictions on Monday. 100% predictions on Monday. I am locked in. I am set. Predictions on Monday. And back to schedule. I have been thrown off. I'll be honest with you, no video, no project has thrown me off like this one. I've been completely um, in my own head about it. Um, back to schedule starting Monday, but I need a day to 
Um, and I'm also going to a, a thing tomorrow. Um, that's not cap. That's not a top hat. You said this last week? No, I didn't. I didn't say this last week. I said it very nervously last week. This is what I'm saying confidently. I am coming with, I think, a pretty fucking fun predictions video on Monday and then back to schedule. Um, including big Soma stream. All right, so I'm going to raid Aspecticore. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys. Um, we'll raid Aspecticore. Because he's doing Aspecticore stuff. Oh, and... Oh, wait, I have good news! Wait, actually good news. As of 6 p.m. today, the video... The contract video, the third contract video for Hitman is done. It's completely done. Final. Approved. Even Tierzu watched it and gave his feedback and said it was great. We are good. We are go. It's going to launch, I guess, tomorrow. I guess tomorrow will be a good time to do it. Maybe I'll do it Monday because then I'll be live. Either way, it's done. So And it's good. It's, I think it's really fun to watch. Um, I hope you check it out because I think, I think Zinjo absolutely crushed it on the editing. All right. Good night. Thanks for watching. Bye. I raided the wrong person. I raided the wrong person. How long is it? It's 14 hours. <laughs> it's 14 hours, so don't miss a minute. Give the full watch through, please. Um, all right, bye.